Hi. Hello. And welcome, welcome to, to the Partner, Partner Panel. Panel. And we're here. Spicy, right? Ooh, I like that. Spicy, right? Um, I like it. So yeah, uh, we are officially live. I'm pretty sure everything's going good on stream. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. We got Bearded, Mangoose, and Stunt. Appreciate you guys joining. You guys want to say hello to the people real quick? Hello! <laughs> What? Right, I was, I was like, "Yo, one of y'all gonna say something?" The fuck? <laughs> Everybody's just quiet. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I was waiting for Mangus to do his uh, his YouTube intro. <laughs> yeah, I was too. How's that it was going just last everyone? time. I could do that every time. I hear you. I thought he would really well, would do that every time. I'm gonna be real with you. Right, until we have a pattern going, I don't know if it's gonna be one time I, or or multiple expect times. Expect the unexpected with me, man. That's why I, I said come at you sideways waited. every time. Every time. I, I mean, me and Son clearly missed the memo because I don't have a flannel shirt, so I don't know. I don't know what y'all got going on. What, you, what the hell? Yeah. I thought we you, agreed, right? <laughs> you think I own a flannel? What? No. I don't got that. I'm from Florida. You imagine in Florida wearing that? Like, yeah, I'm at Walmart. <laughs> you get a short, short I mean, sleeve flannel. I'm in California at 7.30 at night and it's still 90 degrees. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ, Don. Get me out, bro. Get me out. I'm sweating, I'm sweating now just thinking about that. It's 56 <laughs> degrees here. Hey, relax. It's not a carry match. You don't got to sweat that hard. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Damn. Oh, the, the diss. All right. But um, so we have balance patch 13.13.13. So hopefully hey, we're going to see that number 14 soon. Guaranteed next patch will be 14. What do you mean guaranteed? Guaranteed. It's either going to be 0.14 or it's going to be 13, 14. Oh, so you said that's just guaranteed. I, I can't. I hate him. <laughs> I can't with him, bro. Nothing. He said. <laughs> we're quietly sitting here waiting to see what inside information. Dude, right? I was like, I was like, is this an official leak? Yeah. Oh my god. It's gonna be 14. Hey, way to get our hopes up, dick. <laughs> Dude, right? <laughs> I got it. No. <laughs> no. So I'll tell you this. I got a chance to play this patch. Tested a few things out. Saw a few things tested as well. Now, let me ask you guys, did you guys actually get a chance to try it? As far as once the update came out, have you gotten a chance to try out the heroes, items, etc.? Not this patch. I was not able to. Been busy. How about stun? I I played the patch, but I didn't test out the items. To be honest with you. Okay. I I ended up playing um, Carrie Murdoch and mid laner like Gideon, so I didn't I didn't test anything out. Gotcha. Now I know Mangoose got to test a little bit because he was in there with me. <laughs> So, I'll be real with you. Let, let's just get right Hold to up. it. Hold up. Mid lane What's Gideon, up? you didn't use Warlock's Opus? The what? Warlock's Opus? No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance, uh -huh. to be honest with you. I was, <laughs> I was about to say, Brian. It, <clears throat> did you even get to build Opus Mangus when you were mid lane at all? Uh, no, no. I got the, I got the build matter limiter because that's like the first item. Off. Yeah, on gadget. Yeah, that, that was a yeah, rough that's match. A, that's <laughs> a guaranteed item for her. All right, so let's do this. Let's just go over the bugs part real quick. Now, yeah. they fixed a few map collisions issues on the Dawn side of the base. We don't really know what they are. Kind of a little bit mysterious there. Unfortunate, right? But something got fixed over there. Uh, as far as items goes, Al Almighty Gale was not giving additional damage and lifesteal on jungle minions. So that's something that got addressed. Not sure if many of you actually noticed that that wasn't taking effect. And then, like, I'll be real with you. As far as bugs goes, pretty simple. Just two easy I'm, bugs. I'm not a jungler, so I just want to confirm. This is the green smite, right? Correct. That is what what effectively replaced Storm Quiver. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, not getting you know the additional damage and life steal off jungle minions. That's that's big. Pretty much, you're pretty much throwing if you're using that item. Then, uh, well, you were, but it's been adjusted now. 
Right. No, that's what I'm saying. They have, so that, them fixing that is huge because, like I said, you, before that, you were pretty much throwing at that time. So, yeah, no, that's huge. Uh, since you mentioned damage window, I did mm-hmm. notice that Titan Slayer, Titan Slayer was pretty buffed up. It melted the uh, the Sevrog and the Greystone that we were playing against. Once I built it on uh, Murdoch, that thing was was really powerful. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's talk about these characters first because I definitely want to go into the items in themselves. But one of the first things that I noticed, since we're about going to talk about Countess here first, I saw somebody grab Countess off rip. I'm talking about the patch was hot, right? Like, yeah, I'm going to grab that right. Countess. You know, that ultimate, the time, the, the duration, the channel duration got reduced. So I'm able to actually cast a little bit faster, right? The regen is going to be a little bit more, right? I'll be honest with you. It, it, it honestly felt underwhelming. I felt like that change to her did so little that if you weren't used to playing her before, you're probably not going to be used to playing her now. Like those changes were actually just so insignificant, like two tenths of a second as far as how long, like, you know, like, hey, there's two tenths of a second of a chance that I won't get stunned now. You get me? Right. Let me ask a question, though, real quick. So this is, we're under the balance part now, right? The balance center? Yes. That second thing says suppression duration is now correctly 0.8 seconds. Would that not be a bug fix? Yes, it should be, because that... The suppression duration, and correct me if I'm wrong, that literally just means you are now stuck without being able to basic cast an ability, anything for that time frame. As it like kind of freeze you in place, freezes you in place, right? So if it was intended to be 0.8 seconds and now it's actually 0.8 and it wasn't, that would be more of a bug fix. You're not wrong there. Right. So, okay. A little weird. The, the biggest thing that I read from this, like you like you said, 0. 0.2 seconds, like two tenths of a second is, is almost nothing, you know. Um, ask my wife. Anyways, uh, percent base health regenerated and minion killing. <laughs> Why, bro? <laughs> he, this man cannot control himself. Get me out. <laughs> oh, my God. And he, and he so, so casually and slickly <laughs> put it in there just... <laughs> right and just kept on going i can't with him bro i really can't <laughs> but the oh. thing i noticed though here is this for uh the percent base health regenerated for minion kill increased from 3.5 percent to 4.5 percent that's actually a good increase i think that's actually uh especially late game because that's when the, the minion health uh correct me if i'm wrong the minion health towards uh, late game is as your team gets better the minion health gets better too right so for- so the minions do scale right so that'd be a, a decent, inc- you know, a decent increase late game too. Yo, and uh, just a really quick shout out to I'm Vile rating us with a party of 25 while we're doing this live. Oh, so yeah, thank wow. you, thank you, thank you. Wow, Vile. Damn. Um, but uh, I'll be real with you. Yes, so the minions do scale, right? Now, I'll be real with you. A percent of health free, one percent of health regen. I mean, sure, okay, so late game, you might have gotten, what, an extra 20, 30 HP, just kind of throwing a number out there. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, it, it's not, it, it's 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 just not that big. It's not that big. Like, I saw a countess sitting here, it's like, I said, oh, I can't, bro. He cannot control himself. <laughs> this guy. But on like it's like again like as far as her drain her passive one um, percent HP off of minions honestly not that significant um, definitely better to go from ten percent early up to fifteen percent on uh, a hero kill that's definitely much more substantial you can see that the health bar was you know like not significantly larger as to the regen but you can see that there was a significant amount right as it goes through but late game it still tapers off the same now i'll be real with you even though countess updates were very very insignificant in my opinion this barely did anything to her play but i'll be real with you this this muriel change that was a spicy change uh, mangus you got a chance to play muriel didn't you 
No, I don't fucking play Muriel. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't. Do I do he, 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 he only does an Arbash, bro. I, I, Paul, he loves Richter. Don't even. I oh, he does Richter too. I That's true. The other support. Except reason, Muriel. Get behind Muriel. This might get me behind Muriel, but I want to go back. I want to go back and talk about Countess. Okay. Here's the thing with Countess. I like that they're doing minute changes to her because that means that they have things balanced out well to where that minute changes can plus or minus her win rate just a little bit to get her to where they need to be. But the thing with Countess is, Countess is such a skill-based hero that I don't think minute changes like this are going to do anything. Either you get somebody that's really, really good with Countess, and they're going to shit on the enemy team no matter what you do with her, or you get somebody that is learning Countess, and they're going to get shit on. So I don't think these little minute changes are going to do much for especially Countess's win rate. But that, that's kind of like what that's kind of what I like about Countess. I don't play Countess myself, but again, like she's she's skill skill based going both ways. If you have a team that knows how to counter her, then you can shut her down quite easily. And again, these changes aren't going to make that big of a difference. Um, her channel duration going down 0.2 seconds. If if I have the stun, yeah, it's, it's I'm already holding pointless. it for her anyway. It's not like my stun's going to come off of cooldown just before. She channels it. If I, if I have a stun, for, if I see a count as I'm holding on to a stun and waiting for her to, to jump in. Right. Now, and I'll move down to Muriel now. <clears throat> I, this is definitely a buff to Muriel, putting all of her, front loading all of her shield. Because now, if Muriel sees a count as jumping in on somebody, instead of that bubble popping a second time and then, and not being able to save them, they might have actually have enough shielding to uh to survive the uh the countess full on wombo combo. Okay, so I can see that, but I will say it's definitely changed how aggressive Amirio can be because part of the the spiciness of Amirio is the fact that she could throw down the shield, get aggressive, take some damage, and then another instance of the shield goes off, right? By front loading all that, don't forget that shield still has a timer on it. So if all right. that shield got front loaded, if you literally just sit there and wait like two and a half seconds, that shield now goes away. There is no second proc beforehand. It being split in a second proc of the shield, it almost solidified a consistent shield throughout. So I like the fact that it got changed to the more original way where it's front loaded, right? I'm not against it, but I'll be real with you. It, that shit hurt her. It hurt her. People, people aren't playing as aggressive with her anymore. That's something I definitely noticed. It's, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it was the right move. I just know this is more traditional Muriel, Paragon Muriel, so to speak, a little bit more as far as those, uh, those shield goes, right? But then also, we got Severog updates here now. I've I've seen some beefy Severogs here, man. Now, starting off with the Siphon, the range per passive tier got reduced. So now, basically, it starts off at 450, topping off at 550. So that range, got, I mean, I got affected a little bit, but I'll be real with you. I, I haven't necessarily played the Severog, but I didn't necessarily see too, too much of an impact. I still saw, like I was playing with Vile, actually, which I just rated us here, and it it seemed like he was able to use the passive and everything just fine. It didn't necessarily seem like it was crazy, crazy, right? The subjugate, the slow getting reduced to 30% at max, 20% early. Not a huge change, quite frankly. You start off with the same amount of slow, and then after the fact, it's now 6% difference. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So that one, again, minute changes that didn't really do much and then the ultimate colossal bro the colossal blow <laughs> excuse me cooldown increased that is bigger that that's literally yeah, that's almost big. double the cooldown at yep. max upgrade so yeah. i i don't know why they did that because it's not like you use sev's ultimate you know every 30 seconds on the cooldown is like, I'm just smacking people around like you get me like uh, what I've seen some subs do it it seems like they have it constantly and they constantly use it 
the, Wait, but, it, but it's uh, more the, of a utility thing. It is like if, more of a utility. It's not like I don't. Think like I mean, nobody using uses it, it for damage. For, yeah, you feel me? How much damage does it even do? Like I literally don't think. Like I don't when I, I don't play, think anybody's I don't even, play it very I, often. Yeah, I don't think like, people care much, about how damn how much damage it does. You, you feel me? It's right. it's just mainly used for its displacement potential. Maybe to clear a minion wave if you really want to, right? Yeah. Or, but, or push somebody into your tower. If you yeah, can. for sure. I don't know, but eighty seconds level one. It's big. That's more along the lines of a traditional ultimate, quite frankly. All right. right. So Street says, I mean, in a team fight, when you uh, run some CDR, you can use Sev's all two to three times. Yeah. So I yeah, think yeah. the change was needed. Okay. So I'm at a run Sev. So I don't know. This is where we would need JPI or somebody who like reps Sev a lot. You know, Russ. You know, any of those guys that rep him a lot to really understand how much it is. But I don't play as them. Um, so that the the ultimate. I wouldn't know, but I do think that's a huge increase. You know, it's definitely a change. So yeah. the the Sev mains are definitely going to have to get used to that change. I've definitely um, been in situations where I thought, how the fuck does this Sev keep ulting over yeah. and over and over again? I haven't landed from the first ult. Why is he ulting again? <laughs> <laughs> nah, t -t -t -t. I mean, but so, so to kind of argue here, I still, because I, I, here's the thing, even if you build cooldown, right, which quite frankly, the average Sev does not build that much cooldown. You know, right. with a new cooldown system and the way it is point wise, but I didn't necessarily think it was too crazy because in retrospect, right? Like, yeah, so his, he might have had his ultimate every, let's say even in half, every like 16 seconds or so. Bro, I'll be real with you. You're going to get thunked by an Arbash more times than that. You're going to get Decker stunned more times that he's going to be able to use that displacement because again, it doesn't really do damage. You know what it I mean? It does enough. It does enough, and it's part of a combo. It's not think, just the damage from Colossal Blow. You get Colossal Blowed, then you get subjugated, then he bum rushes you and hits you with the siphon. I mean, and sure, that combo I is available it. a lot. I think the bigger issue is that a tank item shouldn't give you power, but that's a different conversation to have, right? <laughs> so in in chat, they're telling all tank items give you cooldown. So if you're building a tank Severog, you're getting the cooldown anyways. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So you're already getting what you you don't have to item you don't have, you're not even trying to itemize cooldown. I guess if anything you're just you could pick you could pick a white aspect, one green and one white aspect and you could put into cooldown to even get more cooldown that way. I mean there's no need to if you're already getting cooldown off your items. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just with what Mangu said last week. Give us more items but simpler items yep like you feel me that like a tank item passive, shouldn't have yeah. cooldown health armor and a passive you know yeah. what i'm saying no i agree no so, i agree for sure um but his siphon is cute right so they, the, they reduced it didn't they just increase this like four patches ago or something like that a lot they increased they, they it they huge, increased it by quite increase. a bit yeah yeah so this is more like a bringing it back down this is what i like to see though like i like that you know hey we're changing it all right we, we went a little bit too far let's find that middle back ground down a little bit let's try to find that that perfect spot you know let's literally find that balance so i like it i did think that you know increase to 700 range from whatever it was was crazy i'm like whoa okay so yeah good i think that, that was just on back. the hopes of maybe giving him a hope against a range carry of the sorts so he doesn't have yeah, to get too yeah, close, the, right? The, the, at the time they did that, it was almost like an idea of like, hey, this is to balance the ranged uh, offlane meta that has been happening. So it makes sense. Yeah. So then also here we have items that got adjusted. First of all, Minion Detonator, Dispel Dust, and Growth Totem have all been removed because I'll be honest, Thank you. Nobody used them anyway. Yeah. I'm like, so <gasps> oh no, really? What what was dispel dust? I at least know minion detonator and growth totem, growth totem, but what was dispel dust? It was uh cleanse. Okay. Like you just bought it. Like you bought it, you cleansed and lost it. Yeah. That's that like you. Like well, same with minion detonator. Yeah, minion detonator. But minion detonator was like what I used it sometimes. 
uh, when when the, the siege minions, minions were too powerful, when the super, or the super minions, minions were, yeah, yeah, the super minions were fucking. You know, it didn't matter what you did when they had it. When uh, even the AOE abilities weren't even doing, wouldn't do damage to them. The only thing you t- could do was auto attack. Because I'm like, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was your only way of like even defending the core was like you have to go buy back the new minion detonator. So. Uh, so thankfully, <laughs> that's not needed. But right. but then again, that. Th- the super minions I, being toned back is what made minion detonator pointless. You know what I mean? Like right. at, the, at that point, yeah. items like that were just like a waste of economy. I, and growth totem took so long to be valuable. It's like, hey, man, think, are you promoting an hour long match or not? You get me? What I, what I want was I want minion detonator to go away and dispel dust to go away. But I want growth totem to be balanced. Like give us something that's gonna make it worthwhile. Don't make it overpowering. Like, hey, guaranteed you have to get this item, but make it to worth it. It's like you kind of when you get into when you line up in a match, you're like, man, do I want to do the growth totem build this time or do I want to, you know, go whatever you know the other build this time? You know, make it actually make us think. Do we want to use that? Because right now people don't even think about it. Like it's guaranteed. You you know you're throwing if you use it. I mean, yeah. Because I just, enjoyed it in Paragon. I really, I mean. Or the Paragon the, equivalent, you, know, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah, the Paragon. Yeah, sorry. I was like, what do you mean? Like, this, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. The whatever it was, that was uh, growth implant. Yeah. Uh, in growth. I love using growth implant uh, on Paragon. It was, it was great. It was, you know, but you had to get it at a certain time. If you waited too long to get it, then it was, you know, at that time you're renting you know, and stuff like that. But like, I, I really enjoyed it in Paragon, but I'm also, you know. Wait, Rod's... wasn't it called Growth Totem in Paragon and Growth Implant and Fault? Uh, I don't know. N- no, no. You know what? I hate one or I... the other. I Give me know. a second. I hate that I can do this. I use Mindy Denton as a support because uh, you're right. No, you're you're right. Everyone. I just went to the fault website, which <laughs> is not currently updating live every patch. Definitely needs to be looked at. Already <laughs> has, has already been brought up. It's 100 percent in fault. It was called growth implant. Yeah. It was right. Somebody wrote growth right. totem. So somebody somebody for damn sure is <laughs> reminiscing <laughs> for right. sure. Uh, everyone else, uh, if you lose in heb early and it was super cheap, yeah. Again, we said this uh, before. If you can't purchase growth totem from the start of the game, then it, it should be removed. <laughs> this is great. Yes. No, you know, I agree, Street. Um, but yes, that. Uh, it, yeah, support. Uh, it would be good. It would be good to buy minion detonator, like if it was more worthwhile. And but because the the siege or the super minion is getting tweak back you kind of don't need to do it anymore but yeah you will uh give the ability for the support to stay back and protect the core while all your other damage dealers go out so i just think it was a pointless item i'll be right with you oh, but I, yeah. <laughs> so on the mannequin base they the passive cooldown got reduced from 60 to 30 so it activates more frequently now that's a nice change to see it'll give more validity to the mannequin embrace you might see a couple people run that a little bit more uh, what does this card do? That Demonic card? Embrace is when you when you drop below a certain amount, you get Life Seal. Okay. Right? Okay. But before, it was just once per minute. But now, once every 30 seconds, so, if you drop below the threshold, you get Life Seal. So, would you say that this was adjusted? Because, like, it, w- do you think that the data points show... That with the new items that give you that, you know, like the uh, the red cloak for the uh, okay, the shield for the like, carries, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that because of that stuff, they kind of like, you know what, like we don't need to use this item as much because we have these other ones that drop, they do the drop below. Once you drop below this, it kind of gives you that. So, do you think this no, is more of like a hey, let's use try to get this item to use again? Basically, because he, here's my thing on it. Fights after 15 minutes are happening way more frequently than at once every minute, right? Right. Like people are literally either death balling or grouping a lane and shoving, fighting over objectives. After 15 minutes, if your team isn't coordinated, you're low key in a team death match for the next 20 until people get too strong, wipe a team, and then they're like, oh, I guess we'll push now, guys. We don't have anything else to do. So it, it wasn't 
a viable choice because you only had that effect once every minute. You feel me? Right. So now, at least by decreasing that cooldown, a fight every 30 seconds, that sounds about right. You might find yourself in a fight every 30 seconds. So at least by the next team fight, you still have the potential to actually use it. You follow? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. But um, and then on top of that, Doom's Ringer rifle, the gold got reduced, the cost from 2800 to 2700. Uh, that's more along the lines of what uh what stunt was saying earlier like titan slayer got a bit of a of an adjustment right so yep. it, it's basically made to give you a little bit cheaper pen you feel me and i definitely used it, it, it like as soon as the patch came out i definitely built a doomsbringer rifle just to get it on i was actually playing with vile he hated the fact that i picked up doomsbringer rifle i was like don't you tell me what to do vile i'm gonna build this shit if i want to bro so it's not bad. I mean, it still provides value, but again, it's all about the cost versus how effective it is. And reducing that cost, that cost, excuse me, improves the value and the worth of it a little bit more. So it just really comes down to, are you strapped for trash? Are you trying to get some quick pen on the board? Or are you okay with waiting for a little bit more to getting a more effective pen item? You know what I'm saying there? Right. So these two still can't be used together, right? As far as I'm concerned, I know that they mentioned that within like the main chat. They're like, oh, no, no, you can't stack the pens between Doomsbringer and Titan Slayer. But I never saw that pointed out anywhere. I don't I'm not 100 percent sure. If, I mean, you guys might be able to tell me or not. If in game, when you try to build these two, yeah, does, does one of them gray out? Yeah, I don't know the, if it grays uh, out, but it won't let you buy it. Doomsbringer grays out. You can't get the rifle. If you okay. have a Slayer. Got it. So at least there's some sort of, you know, preemptive, like, hey, don't, can't even go this route. Don't do it. We're not going to let you. So at least that's in the game, right? You correct got anything? Me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Sorry for cutting you off. But no, go for it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Titan Slayer added a crit chance too, right? Just recently. Aside uh, from what it was. So, it, it so they add, did. It's it just letting you know what it's like. Well, no, no. So, so they did add crit chance to it, actually. So now it gives you crit also. But that's we're trust me. We're gonna we're, we're gonna talk about that in a second. I yeah. do for future it reference. I, add? No, it was just a flat oh, damage and pen item it, beforehand. I thought it okay. But I will say, quite frankly, at the end of the day, I really wish they kind of had these more organized per color. You feel me? Like if we're talking about carry items, if we're talking about sustain items, energy items and stuff like right now, we want to talk about Titan Slayer, but that shit's like six items down the list. So, you know, just a little tip for SMS right there. Yeah, and like these two, you would think Doomsbringer and Titan Slayer would be right next to each other as far right. as updates go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just weird. <laughs> I don't know. Like it, two it, pin items. It, it looks like it got typed up as they were giving information, you know, yeah, but was, to yeah. each his own. Just hindsight, 2020. Right. Uh, Enlightened Saber, physical power got reduced 50. Physical penetration got increased from 10 to 12. Two flat pen, not that much. Uh, gold cost reduced 200. And the active, active cooldown reduced to 30. I think the bigger part about this item here is the active being reduced mm -hmm. to 30. But I'll be real with you, Enlightened Saber is also one of those that aim at. I don't know how often you're going to be like 1v1ing somebody or what's going on, but this item never gets used. It seems very situational. The, the only reason to use this item is to basically just sneak out to get the wards, you know, find the wards and be able to get, you know, destroy the wards. You you can, you don't have to get a rad pulse if you have this item. That's pretty much what this item is. You can then keep on getting your stealth ward. And then that's how I feel about it. I mean, I, I don't use it. I don't play jungle enough. But I think this is just your jungler to use this. You get this item, you get all this stuff with it, but it's pretty much taking care of your rad pulls. So you're right. That's the only value, but I'll be honest with you. I'd rather grab a free rad pulls and grab an item that's actually worth more to me. Right. You know, like, I don't want to, I don't want to spend 2,600 so I can keep a normal ward. I'd rather just grab the rad pulls. You feel me? Yeah, I'm just, half, yeah. but with half the cooldown though. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but with half the cooldown. I mean, it I makes it it makes like it more viable. 
But as I like think of, think of a like they say it's a chimera, right? Like Kalari can already see where the wards are when she goes invisible. Just imagine a chimera is going around. I'll be real with you. The chimera is going to go through the jungle paths way more. Like it's plenty of times, even within 30 seconds. Like 30 seconds makes it more relevant. But I still much rather have a rad pulse and an item that's worthwhile. You're likely to be caught by a ward regardless if a team is warding properly. I don't know because because for some reason usually i see this uh the demonic embrace and the stealth tech with kalari builders jungle kalari builders this is where i've seen it most i could see it for some reason i could see it like kalari builders is definitely like building purple shade boots etc i feel like it's one of those things like hey man i'm already building purple might as well i'm already here you know i feel like that's just the mindset uh, behind it Street has a question. North Pops possibly answered it. I'll see if you guys know the answer to it. Uh, question, does the item still reveal Kalari in stealth, or is that fixed now? So we're talking about Enlightened Saber. Uh, North thinks that it's fixed, but I don't know. I, didn't even, I don't play Kalari seen... enough to know this. I'll be honest. I guess the question would be, was it supposed to? I don't know. Why would it? Well, because uh, the item itself, it grants you vision whenever you're detected by by vision, right? So technically... Is Kalari a word? <laughs> I mean, basically. <laughs> Half well, the, she's, she's against, the against, against a good team, that's what she's used for. TBH. The way, the way it was in Paragon and the way it was in Fault... When somebody is stealth, they aren't considered stealth. They're considered in another realm, the shadow realm. Wards exist in the shadow realm. Kalari, when she's stealth, exists in the shadow realm. So this would reveal everything in the shadow realm, which would include Kalari or anybody that's using stealth tech. That's the way it should work. I Makes would sense. Think. Makes sense. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll be real with talks of vision system adjustments and reworks and stuff. We're just going to assume it's working as intended. We'll get clarification and post it in the comments or something. But we're just going to assume it's working as intended. And until they get out there like, hey, this is what it should be and how it should actually work and what we want it to do. We'll go from there. But because the problem is when Kalari's invisible, she's basically, even though she's not a ward, I don't know if it's the way they have it coded or what, but it, she basically acts like a moving ward. You know what I'm saying? Moving ward that's just invisible. So we're just going to have to leave y'all with a TBD to be determined on that one, quite frankly. I'm asking right now. We'll, I mean, I'm not saying we're going to answer right now, but I'm asking right now and then we'll leave comments. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So moving forward, also found in invigoration got reduced by a hundred cost, gold cost. Uh, not a hundred percent. Why? Because that's such a strong item as it was already. I didn't necessarily feel like it should have been cheaper. I don't know how you guys feel about that one, I but it was I, too cheap already. Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong, bro. <laughs> Getting health like that is crazy, but making it even cheaper. I don't Which know. Which one I, is I, this one? Is this this which one is this one? I'm sorry, I, I know I'm confusing this one and the ring together because they so came the, out at the same time. The ring so. is the one that ring is the one that gives you health when you get CC. Finally, of invigoration okay. is the one that boosts your healing. So this is the life steal and healing gets correct. Boosted, so, Everything gets amplified. So if I had a Narbash, you know, I could get this as a ADC and kind of get a little boost from that. I mean, yeah, and you know like get a little bit of energy armor i mean sure if you got an arbash why not but uh but yeah so they made it 100 gold cheaper i just i'll be real seeing chimeras run the fountain and shit like that i didn't think the shit needed to be 100 cheaper <laughs> tbh do you suppose that making it 100 gold cheaper might uh cut down on the game times i mean it's just 100 gold but if they get it a lot quicker. So I don't know, because it's if you're trying to cut down on game times, making the 
excuse me, making the like lifesteal heal, healing item a little bit cheaper probably isn't the way to go. You know what I mean? Considering you're giving somebody more sustainability, mm -hmm. they're harder to kill. So that's probably not what they were trying to do. But now we also see on here matter limiter on ability hit slow amount got reduced from 30 to 25 quarter you know like not too big of a change but i'll be honest matter limiter specifically on a gadget that five percent difference is probably something that'll be very noticeable over the time frame like when you're getting ticked four or five times you get what i'm saying yeah definitely yeah, it'll it'll build up for sure i felt it a little bit when i was playing gadget i felt yeah. it a little bit made a yeah. difference which is good. Did the Again, opponent small feel difference, a but... Yeah, and, and I'll be real with you. Most of this patch definitely just seems like a lot of those minor tweaks. You feel me? Just yeah. a lot of, you know what? Let's tone this, tone that. I don't think this one was a bad one. I think this one was a good one. It still, uh, you know, like on a gadget, still provides value, big value, but it's yep. just not as oppressive, right? Then we also got Nirvana Jewel. Nirvana Jewel now no longer grants 400 mana, which I was shocked, to be honest. Because again, like we, we just mentioned a moment ago that a lot of the items are very heavy stacked, right? Like they give you mana, they give you energy power, they give you armor, and it has a stasis also, right? So they took the mana away. They increased the cooldown reduction points by 50%. So now it's at 15. Physical armor got increased a hundred percent so now it's it went from 20 to 40 physical armor and they affected the build path as such so they're basically just making it more of a of a tanky blue item so to speak right then as well we got shade steps movement speed got increased to 65 that's substantial quite frankly because increasing the movement speed to 65 and then out of combat movement speed lowering it to 20 you're not as fast but you can definitely tell that little bit of a difference whenever you're actually in combat. Just having the extra 20 actually makes a little bit more sense. And then they also increase the cost. So this is just an overall nerf rework to Shade Steps. Back to Titan Slayer. Physical power got reduced to 30 because now it gives you 25% crit chance. I'll be honest. And the gold got increased to... 3,000 and they adjusted the build tree. But when I looked at Titan Slayer, nowhere at all did I think, hey man, this needs a little bit more power and it should crit on top of the fact that it can chunk tanks. I think there are, what, that, that, that makes it what? The fifth or sixth crit item that gives you 25%? Because right now with four items, you can be at 100% crit. So now there's another one with 25%. I think adding crit chance is okay. Quite frankly, I'm okay with adding crit chance to items like that. I just don't think every single one of these items should be 25% crit chance. Like if that shit would have been right. 15 or 20% crit chance, I'm okay with that. How do you guys feel about it? I felt the difference, honestly. When I played Murdoch uh, yesterday, I felt the difference when you had Titan Slayer and when you didn't have it. I I like it. Uh, I'm okay with it because you get that physical power reduction. Um, but it gives you something like it. I don't know. I guess I like it. I don't like it because I like it because like now I can just use it to use it. It can be, become part of my build, right? But like uh, before this update, it was only a part of my build if I had three tanks I was going against, right? If if I like, man, I need to, I literally need to get rid of these some of these tanks. That was the only reason I built Titan Slayer. Other than that, I would go Gunblade or something. But this gives me a like. This now makes it to where like, you know what? This is the item I want. Like a so, medipick. But uh, <clears throat> right. But now that. But then again, I don't like it because then it kind of takes away from the the diversity of builds. So. And there is like there's it's not a counter pick anymore it's literally now just a meta pick and that's I, so that's the reason i don't like it but i also like it because now i can bring it into my 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 builds more often so it, it has both either way i guess yeah like i'll be real with you if you're building crit and you're trying to have some sort of tank killer 
whether it be, you know, just like flat pen or whatever, like there, there's no reason to not have this. I think if you're building crit or you're, you build ace, for example, and you don't have this, you might be low key kind of throwing the way I see it, you know? Uh, you were stepping away, Windu, but I felt the difference here yesterday's game because both Sevrog in the jungle and solo lane were building hardcore tank and they were giving us problems, Sevrog and Greystone. So as soon as I equipped this item as a, as a last build, a full build, it made a huge difference in the team fight. Yeah, but With that's... Murdoch. So here's my... I don't know, it's weird, because here's my thing. A Titan Slayer should be able to melt the tank, right? But by adding in the crit chance, you're not necessarily it's not it's it, you're you're taking the purpose of it being a titan slayer like a you know a tank killer oh mm -hmm. a, like a way of being that sole purpose and now it's a more general be like hey and now now killer. works in every scenario even if they're kind of yeah. tanky now i can run it i don't necessarily need to commit yeah. to running it right. when it was a purely a giant like again that's like this to me it's kind of like what we mentioned a second ago, grabbing an item that is just a very situational item, but it's it has di there's different build paths, different build varieties, right? And just making it fit a more general area. Like, you know what? Now everybody can build it. Because I'll be, again, like when we look at Titan Slayer for 3000, I have no read, like why would somebody build Doom's Ring or Rifle at 2700? You know? Mm -hmm. Like at exactly. two. At 2700, why would you build Doom's Ringer Rifle when you can wait 300 gold? Not that much. Go clear a jungle camp, right? You're not only much. getting 30 physical power, but you're getting 25% crit chance. Arguably, by the time you build Titan Slayer, you already got Fire Cannon or D Blade. That's going to make it from 50 to 75 minimum, right? And then on yep. top of that, you got the giant, uh, the giant Slayer aspect, right? I think or Titan Slayer. competes with D Blade now a little bit, though. This what with D Blade? I think it competes a little bit with D Blade. What do you mean? One of them is going to give you life steal, and the other one shreds tanks. I think yeah. if I think if you're doing right, a crit so build now. with Ace, if you don't have both of these, th like D Blade, Fire Cannon, Titan Slayer, all the crit that you need in the world, you can shred tanks. You can shred squishy people. You got life steal. You got overshield. You got the extra damage on crit from Fire Cannon. Those three items, bro. Throw in a good starting item and you're fucking done. The game's over before you even get to fifth item. Hmm. Like, you get me? Like, it's just, it it feels too much of the, hey, it, it works in a lot of scenarios now. I much rather preferred it to where it was a Titan Slayer. Like, hey, I'm building this when they got a tanky as fuck team and I need that shit. I want items like that. I don't want an item that's just going to become a meta item. Everybody and their mother is going to build it. And they'd be like, why would you build anything else? This is too strong as it is. Because kind of like Stunt said, it made a huge difference for one person to build that item. Doesn't that tell you it might be a little too strong now? You know? And then right. just the difference between Drew's Ringer Rifle and Titan Slayer is a 10% uh, physical armor penetration difference. I mean... That's not a big deal. Why, like you said, why build the Doomsbringer anymore? Yeah, like I'll be real with you that the extra crit with, chances uh, is huge. Especially with uh, Murdoch, because his buckshot isn't that armor pen for, for like four seconds or something like that. So you already get the armor penetration as mm -hmm. is. So you don't really need it in that case. Yeah, it, it fills the gap between the 25% and 35% between the two items. So, yeah. Uh, Meeks and Chad is saying also an ADC without Titan Slayer wins a 1v1. I'll be honest with you, bro. That 30 flat power difference between a Titan Slayer and a different, and you know, like let's just say the, the equivalent since we're on the subject, Doom's Ringer Rifle. The power difference between the two and the pen difference. It's, it's, it's not going to be the difference that you win that 1v1. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Positioning accuracy so many more things are going to mean much more as to why you won the 1v1 nobody's going to be like oh yeah yeah he won because he didn't have titan slayer yeah i could tell i could tell like no bro trust me like right now titan slayer is just a little bit too generalistic and 
liked. Yeah. I just don't. I just don't don't like the fact that again it's twenty five percent crit. If they would have been like fifteen percent, okay, you know what? Increases a crit chance a little bit, makes it a little bit more viable. But it's you're still taking a risk building it. You follow? But right. Then also here to go over the last one, they also on Warlock Opus energy penetration got increased from thirty five to forty percent, five percent difference. You know. Okay, I guess. And then base power got decreased, affecting the scaling a little bit. Uh, what do you guys think about that one? I think it's just balancing. Like, it literally is. Like, it, it, that that's balancing to its finest. Right? They're like, all right, we're going to increase the penetration, but we're going to decrease the power that it's able to, you know, like, just like, we're literally trying to find that perfect spot. You know, a teeter-totter right now. I, I'm okay with it. Energy pin um, can be very, very strong. Um, because yeah, most Fae, people are building physical, so in the Fae, for example, in Paragon, I don't know why, but Harvest Nettles, her uh, her was it her Q or her E, the one that was just a straight line skill shot that that refunded your mana if you actually hit if it, if you landed it, yep, the right click that been that one ability, I have no idea why, benefited so much from, from penetration that. You, you kind of need if you were building a mid lane fey and you wanted to poke a lot you had to build pin over over uh, energy power so i think this could make uh, nobody's really doing the math anymore nobody's doing the math in this stuff anymore i would love like sylphan used to do with it, do this kind of stuff but uh he's uh, I mean, he's the strange matter fucking uh, gd now so i don't know i mean my only concern on it is 40 pen for one item is kind of big you feel me? Yeah, that's pretty big. Just just the amount. Like, that's arguably almost all the pen that you need all in one item. And again, just going back to that mindset of if you don't build this one item, you're think, you're, you're hurting yourself. Like, this is the item that you need, you know? 75 too. power two. It's a, it's a cheap item. And I think 5% pen is greater than five uh, five power. Well, you got to be mindful, too. Like, they lowered it five power, but you're not just building Warlock's Opus. Almost every other energy damage item was going to give you anywhere between, what, 60 to 120 energy power? Yeah. That that five energy power that you lose honestly isn't that much. It's not going to make that much of a difference, you feel me? But, I don't know, like, I'm I'm excited to see new items coming. I'm excited to see more variety because like we mentioned i i would love to see just basic items give me an item that gives me damage and attack speed no active no yeah. passive i'm tired of every single item having yeah. an active or a passive that's not necessary i understand whenever you have few items you're trying to fill many roles very situation you know varying situations and such but i'll be real like um like somebody in chat was mentioning that Titan Slayer having the crit percentage at least gives it more validity where before you had to like hard commit and it was hard to build. Mm -hmm. I'll be real with you. Instead of making an item more generalistic to where it fits to all scenarios, I would just say balance the item around what it what its role was. It was too hard to build. Adjust the price. It wasn't right. worth it. Adjust the value of it. Don't necessarily get start adding other stat values and be like you know what we don't think it's worth it let's give it five percent life steal just because we can't like it's uh, that's i don't think that's the solution i don't think the solution is to add other random stats you know what i mean but this patch is gonna give you armor as well <laughs> don't even bro <laughs> but <laughs> i do want to say before before we go any further you did you said that shade steps was nerfed that's an overall buff the only nerf was that it costs 100 more gold now Everything else is a buff. Okay. It goes from 40 to 65 um, and movement speed reduced. Out of combat movement speed reduced from 25 to 20. But 20% of 65 is greater than 25% of 40. So but, it's a, no, but you gotta buff. but you gotta be mindful that gets added to your total movement speed. So if you were at 550 and then you add shade steps before, it would put you at 590, right? Now it's going to put you at 515, for example. But the issue is 25% of 590 was bigger than 20% of, of 615. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. You get me? So 
the overall I'm, movement I'm speed at, that you're getting out of combat yeah. is less, but the movement speed in combat you're getting is more. And they raise the cost of the gold. Where quite frankly, if you're building shade steps, you're not building it for the movement speed you get in combat. You're moving building it for the movement speed out of combat to for your right. rotations and shit like that. So that, that shit that shit's menace. a nerf, bro. I know it helped menace steal my kill. That's that's all I know. Hell yeah, he got <laughs> he got from that jungle camp over the lane so fucking quick just to land so that fast. last hit, bro. So fast. Nice. Now, Love it. Now I wanna I wanna ask you guys, because yeah. we've made predictions in the past. It is October 1st. Officially. It it's about to be October 2nd here in a few minutes. But it's October 1st. Still if no patch 14. This live. If you're watching this live, yeah. Still no patch 14. Um, how do you guys how do you guys feel? What are you guys predicting, thinking? I want to hear y'all thoughts. Uh, I th I think it's next. And the reason I think it's next is because look at this patch. Most of our patches in the past, like we at least got an item added or or something, you know, like this is literally just a balance and bug fix patch. There was only one other patch that was like literally the smallest patch and we like decided we weren't even going to do an episode on it because it was so small. But I I think it's next. That's where I'm at. I I here's my thing. I hope. Right. Well, okay, so do I. I hope, yeah, by all means. But I can't I can't promise I, I can't tell people I'm like, yo, you know what? I really think it's next. I, I, dude, you know how many times I've thought something is coming in the next week and it doesn't? You know how many times I've thought, hey, I think this next update's gonna be the one and be like, oh, I guess it came three months later. Like we can hope we've had talks behind the scenes and stuff, right? But we've had we've had plenty of talks behind the scenes. You and I can talk about something over bearded, but it doesn't mean it's actually gonna come into fruition unless, you know, right. like the, the stars align, so to speak, right? So I'm I'm more concerned because I thought this was going to come before October. You follow? I still have hope. I, I'm excited for 14. I'm excited that, hell, even if there's nobody in queue, for example, let's say something like that happens. I'm going to be able to do an, I am, I, an AI match with homies teach them how to play the game and we can spend our time doing that instead of me having to be here and be like i can't get on till 6 p.m because that's when the matches are going so i'm excited for stuff like that by all means right but i i, I i'm getting i'm just concerned i'll be real I, i'm not no front i'm just concerned I soon i hope it's really soon i i just responded i think it was either today or yesterday i responded to a youtube comment somebody asked me if it was worth it to buy fault, if it, if it was worth it to spend the money on fault. And I told him straight up, cause you know me, I, I don't, I don't fucking For sure. suck up to any of these companies. I, I told yeah. him straight up. I said, wait until patch 14. I said, if you are thinking of spending money on this game at all, wait until patch 14, they've got a lot of stuff lined up and that's when you're going to want to buy to actually play this game. Like don't yeah. buy it now. And I think yeah, it'll be much more new player friendly out than the, the the better for them but i have no idea when they're, when they're going to come out with this patch i have zero clue i just know that they're 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 hanging they're hanging their hat on it they're they're putting a lot on this patch they're uh they're hyping it up i i, I still think mid-october i i mean i'm aiming high i really am i'm okay. hoping uh, deep down inside even if there's no map or anything like that, I'm kind of hoping for another Halloween event and I'm hoping it either gets introduced or you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's, I, I know I might be aiming too close to the timeline and hope, uh, wishful, uh, thinking, but, uh, but I think mid October will probably get some kind of, some kind of news for the end of the month or something like that. I mean, it'll be cool if they incorporate something Halloween. Did they just drop it all at the same time, right? I just don't know if that's likely, you know, not to get anybody's hopes up or anything. But well, think about it. Like you said, this is October 1st, right? Mm -hmm. Next week, our next week episode is going to be already a week into October. The next patch, when something's actually going to get updated, is already going to be two weeks into October. So if you even if you did put something in Halloween themed, 
you're only going to get two weeks of it. Like at this point, it already is like it should have been done this this patch right now that we're doing this episode on should have been the Halloween theme event or whatever Halloween themed. I don't care if it's an like avatar op, or whatever. It would have been the optimal one to do. do yeah. This is the one to do it. If you do it now, it's you already if you do it, it's only two weeks to play. Then it's just kind of makes it like pointless. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, because like, what if I'm not able to get on in those two weeks? What if, you know, like you didn't even give me a whole month of the, you know, hell, Walmart's had a Halloween candy out for the last three months. You know, like. I can't with you, bro. You did not just bring Walmart into this. <laughs> get me the out. Reason I, I said, uh, the reason I said it too bearded was, um, let's say if this was going to be a good marketing strategy too. Why take the, for example, as far as maps go, right? Let's say patch 14 doesn't fully come out. Why change the look of this map that we've been playing for what? Is it a year now? Maybe longer? This okay. this, this map Over we're playing? You know what yeah. I mean? Why not incorporate it with the new map? Put the uh, put the word out there. Bring in new players and also do the theme. You know what I mean? I totally agree with you, what you're saying. I mean, two yeah, weeks but- is a very short amount of time. To be able to play like a Halloween theme, but yeah, but that's that's under the hopes that they have a new map. You feel me? Yeah, that's and what I'm saying. That's like what I'm I'll saying. be real with you, it's more likely for us to see an updated map with the guy that they brought in, as opposed to a new map. Like Didn't they say, where am I looking for updates now? That's a patch. I'm looking for updates. Didn't they say that they weren't? This map wasn't going to be. What do you mean? I need a complete sentence out of you, bro. I, I'm trying to read it. Sorry. I'm, I'm reading and talking at the same time. I mean, I don't know. I just know that we're more like we're more likely to get an adjustment, you know? Right. I thought I read that somewhere in the, in the updates, it, not in the patches, but in the updates, the blog posts, or you want to call them. I thought I read something about them doing a little map improvement. Until oh, like, so like some map. confirmation that they're right. not bringing in a new map yet? Until yeah, uh, while it, while they work remember. on the new map, I thought I saw something about they're working on a map. But I guess maybe I guess maybe I'm confusing the whole lobby map showcase thing. I don't know. I, I'm, what, I'm, we'll see. Yeah, what two words were mentioned a lot in the past uh, notes? marketing right mm-hmm. and yeah. also an in-game event like a big in-game event and the only thing i can think of aside from christmas is halloween like i said i don't think thanksgiving is going to be a, something like that you know what i mean this is why i was i was hoping <clears throat> this month would be <clears throat> yeah well mind and- you it doesn't have to be a holiday like we don't have to be doing these events on a holiday we could literally do this event and I don't know, give me a, just grab a random date that doesn't have a holiday around it. And that could be, we could make an event out of it. Like it doesn't, you know. Probably where we live. Mean, hell, it I, could be I'm Ryan a, Red's birthday that we're going to do this event on. And we're <laughs> just going to you know, spend three months on it. I don't know. I was going like, to say, we're in the United States. We are basically have a holiday per month. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know if you realize well, that. Like if there isn't yeah, one, okay. we'll come we'll come up with something to celebrate that month. We I, it's, all it's dress weird. up as, as fault characters for the partners panel for Halloween. <laughs> there is no bearded character except for Narbash, and I don't, uh, I'm not, I'm not eating that much. Gideon, G- Gideon, True, I, guess. I am not trimming my beard down to be fucking Gideon. Magus, if, <laughs> Magus, if just put that, put that shit in a ponytail idea. and say it's going to be a new skin. <laughs> a new skin. If if you're coming out with this idea, who do you have dibs on? Uh, I got dibs on Bash. I got dibs on Narbash. <laughs> I think Wolverine should whip his titties out and play Terra. Get me out, bro. I'll be Countess. I'll be Princess Windu. Say less. <laughs> Say less. Tara, you a new one. I, I can't get me out. Anyway. <laughs> I can can't with these guys. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I'll be real with you. It. I think new map is wishful thinking. Just, you know, me being honest. I think a new map is wishful thinking. I think an adjusted map is more likely. But worth uh, putting in a little detail because uh, when Bearded was saying it's like, you know, like 
this patch just came out in two weeks we're gonna have a new pa another patch you mentioned next week's video there's no guarantee that there's going to be a next week's video because they That's mentioned true. last update that they're going to be right. cutting back from those updates so we yeah. honestly might not hear shit for until the next two weeks to the next patch you feel me right they they definitely mentioned that ahead of time and covered themselves to where almost like insinuating there might be some points of vagueness uh, points of solidarity i guess you could say a little bit of quiet but it's intentional and they're going to go back to dev blogs and stuff like that which those were actually super cool what are your, I love. what are you guys' thoughts on that uh we'll we'll start with stunt man goose first i mean cuz obviously we here with windows you know his tone he's okay with it but like what are you guys' thoughts on the that whole like hey we're going to give you bi-weekly updates to where now they're like reeling back a little bit like hey we're no longer give you bi-weekly updates what do you guys think about that you can go ahead stunned if you're if you have anything I mean, it was more of a shocker to me it was a surprise when i read that it was it was just she just threw it out there you know what i mean i'm okay with it i mean i'm i'm not against it uh i would mm -hmm. like to see like a like paragon used to do like a paragon corner or whatever they do have them come out talk about it have like their art team come out and say a few things you know what i mean what they're I'm, I'm okay with it but it was a surprise to me after all these like mastery skin uh teasers and all this other stuff then all of a sudden they're like you know what we're stopping it from now on and and we're moving on to this which they have mentioned that they're going to be doing more of those streams those dev streams and stuff like that uh i'm very curious as to the frequency though because I'll be real with you, like in the past, we we were getting a dev stream, what, once every two months, whenever a hero came out, basically, right? Right. Yeah, Correct me if I'm wrong. Case of a hero, pretty much. Yeah. Basically, and then anything new would get talked about then as well. But I I don't know how, I like, because you feel me, like, currently it's Ryan and Sylphin that have always been in those dev streams. And right. I know for a fact, they're very busy, busy people. You follow? So right. are they going to have the time to do those consistently when beforehand it already took effort to have those done quite a bit, actually, you know? Right. No, and not to sound what, un unhumble. I don't know what the other word of that is. I don't know how to put the modest? reverse of the. No, no, I would know that it would be to sound modest or boastful? humble is the same. Uh, boastful. Yeah, not to sound boastful, man, but this pretty much is the community corner that it, that paragon had as of right now like this is false equivalent as of right now because they don't have anything else so this is what we got yeah, i get you yeah and this is just something that we're kind of doing you know right without yeah, official consent a, yeah this exactly this is not a sms official video type thing and, and so mangus what do you thought sorry stunt go no, ahead no, i was gonna say and then one another thing based off of what we read last uh last note do you think they're gonna stop completely or after patch 14 they'll go back to doing bi-weekly you know what i mean what did you understand from that i mean i i mean there is no there was no timetable on it um uh, my my opinion is that it's going to be this is going forward this is how it's going to be we're no longer going to be doing these bi-weekly updates we're going to get 14 out and then you're going to get these showcases and the social media and all the other stuff here and there. Sorry, excuse me. So, but uh, yeah, Mangus, what are your what are your thoughts on the no longer after they update you, they tell you, hey, we're doing these, and then no longer, hey, we're not doing these anymore. Sublime indifference. If they think that's the best way to go, then that's the best way to go for them. I really don't care. Okay. Like like this patch right here, I could have done I could have done without this patch. This is right. Everything was so minute and small in this patch. Like, who gives a shit? If they want to no. do bigger patches every two weeks, or even if like, they're still doing small patches every two weeks, if they don't have a lot of stuff to change, then I think that's good. That's that means the game is closer to being balanced. And I don't I don't mind if they're uh, if they're not doing this every week. If they if they want to do it every two weeks, good on them. Right. Hmm. All right. What do what are your thoughts? Like I said, I already we already kind of assume with your tone that you're you're okay with it, but I want to make sure. Well, no, no, here's my thing on it. I don't have anything against cutting back on posts, right? Or on patches. Cause kind of like what Mangus is saying, 
like sticking to an every two weeks thing sometimes like yo what was it that one patch that they did one thing to kalari it was just like yeah. we're not gonna you know like why it's, it's it's like the smallest patch ever but we got to give them a patch you know so right. i don't necessarily care for the frequency like they could cut back the frequency and i'd be okay with what i'm more worried about is kind of like what the past conversations we had about uh, their heroes i'm worried about the fact that they aim for two week updates two week uh you know patch updates and then two week blog updates and now they're cutting back so i'm worried about them spoiling the community and then in the community's eyes they're gonna be like they don't give us anything they were they were so talkative and now they fucking hide in a corner they used to talk to us every two weeks now they only talk to us once a month oh no you get me like a, like and the perception exactly is what i'm worried about that's exactly what i asked because i know like all right the four of us uh, and and other people will get upset with me and that's fine uh the four of us are all level-headed people and we'll understand it. And the fact that they put out there and said, Hey, they told us they didn't, they didn't just not come out with the update, you know, like we do. Hey, we're waiting for an update. No update today. All right. No update today. Hey, there was no update this week, guys. They at least told us that it wasn't happening. So there's that benefit, right? That's good. Correct. But They're growing as a company and you know, we've also been alerting ahead of time and had it. And now that we've been spoiled and we've had it now, people are going to be like like you said they're going to be complaining because we were hey this this company is not telling us anything you know they're they're silent and it's like well that you can't really call them silent just because they haven't told you they haven't talked to you in a week you know it, so it i can never see it be an issue in my experience a vast vast majority of the player base are level headed you do get that 10% they get all the attention for being the loud, loud ones. assholes, but that's just a very, the, those loud ones that, that do post and, 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 and you think you might think that they might be representative of a larger community out there. But I think vast majority of people are pretty level headed and even killed and they don't say anything because they don't care. No. I mean, here's my thing. I, again, I'm okay with them doing changes even scaling back and i do think that now is a time to establish what their pattern should be like you get me before they open up the floodgates before they go to full release these are the type of stuff like you know give them more information give them less let's find the happy medium now just like i i was okay with them testing out monetary functions early because right. they need that feedback they don't want to try that shit later and then backfire when it's full release, when the player base grows, etc. So there, there is a there's a time for everything, right? I'm just I'm just more concerned as to what the community is gonna think about them cutting back, right? Because I can easily see it where it'll it could get to the point. Like imagine it's they haven't said anything. Like imagine we're October first, right? Imagine they don't say anything until like October twenty seventh. And all they've done is like patch notes and very minute patch notes. People are going to be like, yo, the fuck? What's going on? What's happening? Yeah. Y'all falling off? Like, it doesn't mean that they are, but people automatically assume the worst. Oh, and, I'm that, and that's that's my concern. The fact that I know some people are going to blow it out of proportion, not all. And I know that perspective is going to change. But how are they as a company going to not only prevent that narrative from shifting as best as they can but how are they going to move forward with it be like hey like they mentioned we might not give you the two every two weeks updates but we're going to start doing social media posts we're going to start doing dev streams like you get me like they right. I, I we haven't really seen much of anything else so far right oh and and that's where i think they can they can limit the community, you know, grabbing the pit sport, pitchforks and, and, you know, and want to burn them at the stake situation is if these social media posts, if these dev streams kind of start coming out and, and they're still as informative, you know, or may or, or at least close to being informative, you know, gives, gives you enough to, to gives you that satisfaction. Like, okay, I got some information, 
you know, and then you can move on. You know, I'll be real with I, you, Brian. You know what I think it's going to be? I think it's literally going to end up being like, you know how in the updates, right? They've been teasing like about an average of two to four items and then they get implemented slowly, right? Or they've been teasing like a, a part of a picture. I think they're literally just going to take that one blog post that teased five things, stretch that shit out over like a month and a half. And every week or two, you're going to get one picture and be like, what do you think this item could be? A week later, what do you think this item could be? A week later, oh, more information on gadget decker picture. What do you think this screen could mean? So I get it, you know, constant teasers and stuff, but I'm, I'm just trying to set a realistic expectation that they might honestly cut back a lot on what they were giving us. And even though we might still be getting, so, even because in that example I gave, that's one thing a week, but it's not the, the influx. It's not the quantity of stuff we're used to getting. You feel me? Right. I think that's going to be the biggest shock for people. Also in that Decker picture, that space uh, futuristic picture, didn't you guys mention in past uh, panels that the coded, whatever the message was, that it might come to Epic Games? Or the coding? Oh, it's meant, coming. Meant it's so coming to Epic Games. So <laughs> they already confirmed that in one that, of the updates. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I just want the community to just you know take it with a grain of salt, but just be very very aware that. Yeah, the amount of information you're going to get, you might not like the amount. It might slow down quite a bit. It might not be what you're used to. It might it, it for damn sure probably won't be what you want, because I'll be real. I'm a, we're community members. We want heroes. We want map. We want themed events. I want skins. Why was I teased the Severog holiday skin fucking like six months ago and I haven't seen shit, but I know it got finished because you showed us how it went from a drawing to ending and I and I criticized the golf clubs. They didn't make sense to me. Vacation. Severog yeah. vacation skin. Sorry. Yeah, I was I was talking about like, what holiday skin did we get for Severog? Yeah, no, my yeah, bad. Vacation skin. But that's what I'm saying. Like I like I, you know, we're part of me we're members of the community also, right? Like we totally right understand we're, we're like we're here partners basically like, like we almost act like a bridge between the community and the devs right but i like i i get i understand all the frustrations i understand everything and i'm just saying quite frankly it might get to the turn realistically that we might get less information we might get you know less frequently and less quantity and that's something that we got to be ready for like, don't don't get your expectations too high, because if they are ramping up for as big moves as they want to do, I could totally see them going quiet. I could totally see them going quiet. And you know what? Let's get this patch out. Let's just let's stop doing these updates, bro. Let's focus on getting this patch out. I'm OK with it. If they tell me we're going to we're going to shut the fuck up and we're focusing on getting to full release before the end of the year. Do your thing, boo boo. I get it. But not everybody's going to feel that way. You know, style says once a month would be cool with me. Just give us a dev stream that leads into an event. So like a once a month. Dev stream? You, are you saying you want a once a month event too? Like, like that's, I don't know if we could, I don't know. I don't think that could happen. I, I think that'd be a little bit much on the dev team, you know, like having, a, I mean, have something set up for an event every month. Yeah. I, I, I don't think, uh, once a month event would work at all, quite frankly. Maybe once every three months minimum for sure. Like definitely, you know, seasonal at least. But I, I, because the way that he says it there is once a month would be cool with me. If once a month they gave an update, which included patch notes, which included teasers and stuff like that, right? You would just know that, for example, if towards the beginning of the month, you get your shit. That's when they're wait, wait, waiting to see what all they have to show us for the beginning of the month. And then we don't hear from them for the rest of the month. Street I brings up a good counter argument. Wouldn't be against Street it. says like themed item, like themed events or just events like double matter weekend or double XP weekend. Like I'll be real double XP. If that shit isn't happening at least once a month on full release or, you know, like at least one weekend a month. 
right. that's something so insignificant so small you know like yeah like games do that shit all the time and I, i'm pretty sure it's easy to do i'm not, you know i'm no pro but i can't imagine that that shit is you know that difficult but it's just like a little something like oh cool there's double xp weekend why not but that's only xp is only really going to matter with a mastery system you follow right that's why that's why this matters so much like somebody in the chat saying what does xp even do it's irrelevant right now but once right. you're once you're grinding out for that mastery skin you're gonna sit here yeah. and be like fuck bro give me the double that xp double, weekend i want to get this skin i don't have eight hours to play a day i play for two hours after work and then i go to bed i got a family yeah. i got a job i got chores give me that double xp weekend you're gonna grind that one character for that weekend for sure. Like, like, all right, this I'm. Hey, double XP weekend. This is who I'm playing. I am. I am getting this person's mastery skin. You know. If I don't get them, I'm gonna dodge. <laughs> what, would you, what would you guys also say if they did like an in-game a reference code per player, where you bring in a new player with that reference code, and after a certain amount, you get a special skin. I mean, that's a cool, it's a cool idea. Like a lot of games, not a lot. Let me not say a lot. Some games have that to where there might be like a specific four reward tree, right? And you can give somebody that code. And with that code, they'll be like, okay, so they got to level five. You get the first reward. I don't know. Ward skin, whatever their avatar, right? They got to level 25. Now you get the second reward. You feel me? And add the more they play, the more reward the better value reward you get, but that usually is a one-time thing, but it does incentivize recruiting people. So, I mean, it's not a horrible idea, but my question would be, what would you give as a reward that you want to give? Like, it needs to be a valid reward that you want to give that code to the next 20 friends that want to try the game out. What would you give? I, I, again, I'll go back to the, uh, the example I used last panel too, the, the partner panel um that gideon skin that a lot of people are using right now that gideon skin was given to ones who uh followed or or donated to the uh the indiegogo, the indiegogo yeah. back og skin which yeah. is amazing had i known about that i would have definitely donated because i like the skin i'm talking something like that which would allow us to bring in friends you know other people who want to play I, it doesn't okay. necessarily have to be a skin, but I mean, no, but you, you bring I'm up a good to... point, like a kind of like a like a getting some like an initiation skin, like a skin that you can only get. You can't buy it anywhere else. You can't do it. You feel me? You can only get that skin if you referred somebody else and they reached a certain level that yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be too bad because I it, again, it could just be like make a chimera skin you feel me or make a decker skin or you could pick any hero you want quite frankly it doesn't have to be everybody's favorite hero just make a hero that's popular and that's it it's just one skin and you now have an incentivized program so let me ask you a question with that the whole gideon skin and the way it's supposed to be right that was supposed to be like an exclusive for the indiegogo supporters right that was like hey you guys supported us before we even gave you pretty much anything this is what you get right so now let's say they make that skin a promotional like hey if you are able to get five people to you know download this game with your code and get to level 10 you know with their character you can now have this skin. How would you feel if you were an Indiegogo supporter and you did that and now other people are able to get the skin that you were supposed to exclusively have? So I'll be, they, anything that should be exclusive, you should never give out. I think Paragon did that mistake back in the day whenever the Halloween skins were exclusive skins until next fucking year and you found out that the exact same skins, you could buy them in a pack and be like, I grinded during the Halloween event just so I could buy this bitch for $25. I didn't like that. So I think anything that is 
limited should stay limited uh, that's what i'm saying make a totally separate skin and just have that uh somebody brought up in the chat uh aimless he's saying except people would just get a smurf and grind it just so they can get that skin on their main true but the whole point of the thing is to get players to play to grind right so i'll be real with you even if some no lifer wants to get a smurf and do that I mean, that's still a player that's consistently playing just to grind so they can get that skin on their main and then they're going to go on their main and play. So now guess what? That guy, the Smurf, didn't stop fucking playing. So regardless, we you got the use out of it, you know? And me and Mango said it at the same time. They're still paying for it. And, and, and the way I was thinking, maybe not one person, maybe five people make it level five or... And to answer uh, Bearded's question, uh, uh, to answer yours, what you said, Bearded, uh, yeah. I don't. I'm not talking about. Are, the, are they skin. coming for you, stunt? Do you need no, to no. Like, get out? He <laughs> 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 uh, lost his train of thought. He <laughs> brought up the sirens. Homie was like, "Go." Maybe he's like, like, "Wait, hey, wait, hey, are they hey, coming for I, me?" If, if you want to like, use your one phone call for me, yo, go like, ahead. That's fine. I'll see what I can do. Sounds like Murdoch is pissed coming after me. As far as Gideon's uh, uh, Gideon skin, no, that that was a um, exclusive skin just for a person that followed it. But what I mean is, uh, someone like me, who doesn't jump for skins like that or doesn't doesn't care much about it i liked it so much i'm telling you i would have i can't <laughs> with him bro <laughs> get me out <laughs> all i'm saying is if i had known that skin was available and had known about fault i would definitely go get it then sometimes this is what brings players in some Exc people come exclusive in just stuff. to get yeah just to get a reference code they can send out and get their skin and and show off yeah and, and you got to be no, mindful people that make the smurfs that are going to grind for skins or that are going to play on their smurfs anyway they're going to do that shit regardless if they have an incentive for a skin or a skin or not like you feel me like you 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 will never stop a mova from having smurfs it's just a proven fact like quite frankly it just comes down to people don't want to deal with a queue time that's gonna happen but you shouldn't stop incentivizing new players you shouldn't prevent yourself from trying to encourage your player base to play more just because you're worried a smurf is going to do it. Just saying. What were you going to say, Bearden? Yes. Um, I was going to say, I get the point. Uh, like, I, I get where everybody's coming from with it. You know, I just don't like being an Indiegogo, Indiegogo supporter. Like, hey, this is my, like, I did this. This is what, you know, you've referenced it in panels before when you do like the, Oh, you like this kid? You should have been there type thing, you know? But then I also understand that, like, yeah, the whole should have been there. But, like, if you didn't honestly know about it, you know, because there really wasn't much advertisement for it. So, you know, in stunt situation, you know, if stunt just he legitimately didn't know about it. And if he did know about it, here you go. Take my money. You know, I'll go broke. I don't care. I love the skin. Like in a situation mm -hmm. like is it really like where does that like how does that work like i i get both sides of it like yeah you you're, you're, you're never gonna make everybody happy i think is what no, it comes down to because because i definitely right. am the one that it's like hey man that decker skin looks dope as shit i don't even play fucking decker but that decker skin looks dope as shit i'm about to grind this weekend i'm gonna do what i gotta do get that skin add it to my collection because i know other people don't got it and when i do play decker i'm gonna flex something that other people don't got i would do stuff like that you feel me or like right. limited time skin yeah. that they're selling only for a limited time that incentivizes an individual like me but i totally get what you're saying that the whole shoulda coulda woulda you know oh man, i didn't know that it was there it sucks but my personal thought is be there for the next one that's what incentivizes the individual so that the next event they're going to be there the next event they're going to be grinding so they don't miss out on it this time like they did last time that's why i think exclusivity matters I don't think that everything should be available for sale because you want your events to be successful as well. Right. I mean, Fortnite did the same thing though. Fortnite had the same exclusive skins. Like, Hey, this is like literally your only, your, I can't remember what, what it was like a season two red night skin or something, what it was. 
and then it was like season six you could then purchase it in the uh the store you know and it's like now wait a minute like this is like you're like the only you had to like finish the season two battle pass to get the skin this was the finishing skin and like now all of a sudden people can just buy it you yeah. know and like i remember my nephew playing like oh man and i can't remember what it was like the fucking skeleton guy or whatever like, oh man this guy's a fucking good player he's got that skeleton skin i'm like you don't know that he easily could have just bought the skit. Like you don't know that this guy's been grinding the game for fucking however long. Like that means nothing now. So I, I get both sides of it. I literally do understand. Holy fuck, man, Goose! What the hey, hell, buddy? What's up, brother? Hey, you just saw what he did. <laughs> what? It, it homie, just ba- up. homie, homie, balling on your channel, up. bro. And no, the, the, <laughs> yeah, the chat shows it way before you get it on your side. What oh the fuck, my God. guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! You guys are truly amazing. Thank you both. Oh my gosh! All right, for those of you that don't know, are watching after the fact, <laughs> Stunt and Mangus both just gifted five sub each. So shout out to y'all. It's just it's a glitch in the system, right? Magnus? Glitch in the system. Did you, uh, did you press anything? Matrix. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do shit. <laughs> fucking Matrix. Magus Magus took the red pill. <laughs> The guy his age, he definitely no. took the blue pill. Let me ask you guys. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, your your wife kept complaining, so I had to do something. <laughs> wow! God damn! Yo, oh my god! <laughs> Oh, dude. oh my lord so for everybody in the chat that keeps everybody in the chat that keeps saying uh bearded has to eat a bean per sub we are gonna make him do that so we will all we will all witness that together yes but i actually got some new beans too so i have to go out to the car and actually grab them all right so yeah. go go do that so while you do that let me right. let me let me ask mangoose and stunt a question real quick how do you guys feel about in the future, strange matter, paying for intellectual properties to have unique skins, like cartoon skins, movie skins, trying to ride the hype of, you know, big major events in the media world, like a lot of these other games do. For example, Smite has Strangers, um, Stranger Things skins. They had the Avatar skins, etc. You see Fortnite do it. Yeah. So how, how do you guys feel about that? And is that somewhere, is that a realm that they should even go into? my response to that uh window um i've talked about it and i can openly say it i did have uh in the past i did have intentions of creating an avengers third person moba it just depends on how much their budget is gonna allow it i love the idea i love bringing in these um like dlc characters right that's what you can say i mean like it's it's a great idea, but it just depends how much their budget is going to allow them to do it. Well, Marvel is it- and Disney, Disney didn't give me a really good response when it came to <laughs> how much they were asking for. Oh, bro, that, no, it's Disney, a, it's that, a that. Of, it's a <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of, of hoops, money. but it's a lot of money. But here's the thing: isn't that one of those scenarios where you spend money? to make money like people will buy that skin because it is an avatar skin because it is a stranger things skin so at that point you just got to negotiate a good deal and be like hey this is how much we're spending this is how many skins we have to sell to recoup and gain a profit it's just a business deal but i don't think they should shy away from that if they have the proper player base no you're right they shouldn't shy away from it but uh here's another question are you looking for just a skin do you want like Murdoch to run around looking like Iron Man, or do you actually want the the character itself in the game as a DLC? No, 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 no. Because a character itself in the game would then impl- be implied to a license or a lease that has to go on on a yearly basis, and that's just mm-hmm. going to take too much out of the profit, right? Like I'm referring to just more like a skin, which quite frankly is going to be way cheaper, even though it's going to be the same process. As opposed to having an actual playable character you follow yeah so which by the way murdoch iron man that should be funny as fuck you imagine a tier five skin where all he just goes <laughs> that's it 
and, and then it's easy though you can do a uh, hawkeye and sparrow a uh, mixture between the two yeah gender benders are okay countess, a lot of mobas do countess, that countess can be black widow i mean i'm fine with it i think it would be cool but that like i don't know like it goes both ways like i would prefer that they just focus on making cooler skins and upgraded skins and better like tier four skins and stuff like that yeah <laughs> i said four skins <laughs> I can't, bro. Oh but, my god, he calls himself up. Continue, but what? <laughs> uh, but I mean, I think um, that's just for me as a player. I think it would be better for them as a business to actually do reach out and do these crossovers. But they don't have the money to be doing Avengers and shit. You know what I mean? No, I'm, t- would, I'm telling you, yeah, it was expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I think just the, like Stunt said, it's, it's too much money. They would have to reach out to something with a, a bit more clicky and with a bit more of a cult following, something a little smaller. Um, I think would be right up their alley. I don't know what that would be. Perhaps they could hit up Rooster Teeth and do Ruby like uh, like Smite did. I don't know how much that would cost them. Um, but the I mean, Ruby fan base is 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 rabid. You know what I mean? I mean, I'll be real. I'll also be mindful. It doesn't necessarily also have to be permanent licenses that you have to renew every year because you have that skin in the game now right you could literally just get a themed event like you imagine they come up with some random shit contact the walking dead and now they have only for the month of october 2022 every minion in the lane is a zombie from the and you know like themed after the walking dead and shit and they can have a walking dead theme you know like very minimalistic licenses involved and it's something that they could easily pull off as opposed to importing a whole new skin and character and changing animations. And shit. I'm just saying the realm of paying for a license to be able to do some marketing event isn't let's go fucking ball out. They could easily just it's all it's all about. Hey, man, we just want that Walking Dead name to be able to use it for a month. After that, we don't care. We just want to be able to use it for a month and then word spread. This MOBA has a Walking Dead theme event. I've never even heard of this MOBA, but because it was a trending, uh, you know, like they started trending as the whole Walking Dead theme MOBA event because they're going to want to promote it as well because they want their shit to go. I'm saying like it doesn't necessarily have to be as deep as let's get a character in the game. Or, or during Easter, you have Narbash and Rick. They're dressed like the Easter Bunny. Wait, you didn't hear hops hello yeah <laughs> there you go, easy call, ed. Call, that's what i'm saying call easy ed bro hops is coming yeah. pappy yeah. says pappy says uh female rick skin <laughs> i mean sure whatever right because you got to be mindful like once say once you do a gender bender on a skin it doesn't necessarily have to stay the same size like you brought up the example sparrow and hawkeye I don't expect the Hawkeye character to be as skinny as Sparrow. What is that going to be? A, an, like an anorexic Hawkeye? You know what I mean? Right. Like, so it, it just be just because you do a gender bender and the ability stay the same, it doesn't mean you have to keep the same physical yeah. structure. So I mean, a female character Hulk, with the hooking abilities, sure. Hulk and She-Hulk, you know, like she's just, it's not just a, you know, she's still muscular, but she's still a, you know, a female figure, you know, like, like a, a you know what is portrayed as a womanly figure so yeah i mean it's yeah you could definitely do that um but back to what you guys are talking about and, and like <clears throat> right now and, and full release i agree with you guys like that all that would be i you know with sun mangoes all that would be almost impossible because the price range would be insane to even counter with that right but once we get into full re- like right now like fortnite's teaming up with the nfl and stuff like that you know and i know that doesn't that's got to cost a pretty penny as well maybe it's not disney but like you can literally play whatever nfl team you can have your character look like whatever nfl team you want you know and this is a triple a company you know they're making money right yeah but it's gonna go both ways too they they're gonna have to prove a product before any company agrees to it because no company is gonna attach their name to something that isn't right, consistently then, growing and progressing no but that's my point like this is something that could that could still happen down the line you know maybe avengers is is a bit far-fetched because it's a of disney's prices yeah. because disney's prices are insanely high no matter what 
you know but i mean but i like, say like but other skins like maybe not maybe not avengers maybe nothing disney but something along that around that idea is possible once they prove something you know once you can prove that this is a game and once we become the the league of legends of third person mobas like why why wouldn't they be able to well, It'll be and it's very possible when you get a product <clears throat> placement some of these companies might not even take money up front some of these companies as a product placement might even come in and, we want 50 percent uh, of the sales either 50 percent will come up and say hey uh your next event is on us just make sure you have our commercials or whatever is running you know what i mean yeah uh avengers was far-fetched but um it's, it's i think i think smite did it great with ninja turtles it was something that right. has a cult following not that many people even watched the, the ninja turtles back in the day you get what i'm saying but they wanted to prove right. a concept what if we introduce cartoon skins into the game how is that going to be received Mangoose looks confused as hell. You okay? And no, he's going to say something. Not That's too many it. people watch Ninja Turtles? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hey, man, no. You think I'm playing? Like, I watch Ninja Turtles like crazy. You can that's yeah. that, that that's you like sitting everyone here everyone else in the world Ninja Turtles were No bro fuck. that's like me sitting here and be like They're yo what popular. do you mean people don't watch the Lord of the Rings There's still a good amount of people that haven't watched that shit Yeah Yeah there's people that don't watch a lot of shit but like that doesn't mean it's not popular Oh but I but mean, again Ninja Ninja Turtles, aiming for the Ninja bot, Turtles have evolved in every generation though like literally like there's still my son watches the new Ninja Turtles, yeah, and I watch just, it too because I'm like, well, shit, this is what I. It's not what I grew up on, but it's. Like, I don't want to miss out on an episode. I feel you, bro. Like, exactly. <laughs> right? I mean, like I'm saying, like it's still there's a Ninja Turtles for every generation. Like it, you know, Nickelodeon has it now. Uh, before that, uh, I can't remember who what te- what company had it, but like yeah, but I, but I promise really, you, Ninja Turtles was way cheaper than trying to get the Avengers. Or trying oh, to get Thanos in the game, yeah, and, that's why, and that's what and that's and that's what I'm trying to say, a like aiming for a lower tier but still relevant, still has a cult following. You get me? Like, is 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 right. enough to do a proof of concept? Because and, right. and Ninja Turtles is a great idea because what you got four main characters. Hello, they didn't even put out four. They didn't. Who no, they miss? Since we're talking about the Ninja Turtles, let's just change didn't Raptor they get into Splinter. Has Splinter kick our ass on in the jungle? I mean, we all Sprinter know Chimera can be, can be rock steady. Who? Grox is already rock steady, right? Yeah. yeah. Does that mean that Prime is Shredder then? <laughs> a beefed up Shredder? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So, there, I mean, there, there's a lot of normal has- possibility. Smite already has Team NT, so does that mean like Falk can have Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> I, I, you know, I, you know, that, that's you that sounds hell of a stretch. Who the hell would you, you pick, know, bro? You know who Richter looks like though? The brain. <laughs> he has the the body like Richter. No, <laughs> yeah, he no, does. Not the brain. <laughs> so Krang, Krang, the Krang, yeah, 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 the Krang. Krang would be like raw, grabbing for the <laughs> ultimate, right? <laughs> But who is the guy that he's he's the body he's in? There's there's a name for that guy. Who is that? Well, that's Krang, and I think no, the, Krang the is the is Krang brain. is the guy inside the stomach. That's Krang. There's a body. The body has a name as well. I can't remember what it is. Damn it. I don't know, bro. But anyway, without veering <laughs> too far. Wukong. Off. Yes. No, Pappy plays <laughs> Wukong. Wukong could be Mojo Jojo. <laughs> Mojo Jojo. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. <laughs> Big cap oh, on that shit. one. Get me out. <laughs> That's a good one. You get Thundercat. Thundercats would be cheap. Ooh, there you go. That that shit would probably be cheap. You're not wrong. Fucking Greystone. Thundercats. Ho! Yeah, yeah Greystone is like Greystone. <laughs> I, Greystone is the perfect one. You are not wrong, bro. <laughs> not wrong. And then you guys can do the Transformers oh, and still will shit. turn into a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, and friend rush through people as a Volkswagen Beetle. That yeah, yeah I'll be mean, sure. Okay, why not? Yes, Pappy, but let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and start wrapping up. Because at this yeah. point, we're just kind of chilling, right? But we're gonna end with Senor Bearded doing his uh his his little thing. So go ahead, go ahead and do it up for everybody, bro. You got the limelight. 
We're going to watch what? 11? Hey, hey, Chad, correct me if I'm wrong. 11 beans? He's got to no. go through? No. It's 13. Mm. Between, between the both of them, we also hit two goals. So the way I do it is I do, uh, for every sub, I do a bean. And every goal we hit, I do an extra bean. And Stunt knew that. And that's why Stunt threw six subs out there <laughs> to hit that, extra, hit that goal already. <laughs> so... Get it. All right, start. So, Number one. 13. Hold on. I, I made sure I got him out of here. <laughs> I'm I'm not, not. <gasps> Stop, bro. He just added more. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I wanted to go for patch 14, but let's go to 15. Patch 14 is already. Oh, my here. God. Oh, gosh. All right. <gasps> get all dirty. Songs. Oh, my God, bro. Get me out. All right, B 15 beans, let's go. All right, except for those that, of you that don't know what the bean process is, go ahead and explain it, Bearded. Yeah, there you go. So for those of you who don't know, for every sub I get, doesn't matter if it's gifted, uh, out of pocket, or prime gaming uh, sub, I do a bean boozle challenge. It's just something I give to you guys, a little bit extra for the sub advantage. Um, and then for every goal we hit, I do an extra bean boozle challenge. So, um, like for example, like now we're because of the two, we're at 47 of the 50. So as soon as we hit that goal, I'll do an extra bean with the, all of those other subs. So are right you now, saying that 15, three more beans would mean a new goal? Three more beans would put us hit the goal. So that's three beans plus the goal said so before. So mm. four more beans that we'd be doing. Um, all right. <clears throat> so this is a new, so I ordered on Amazon. Um, hey man, what's up with this story about how you got the beans? I want to see these beans being eaten, bro. Like, <laughs> I did that. I'm just saying, like, so I ordered on Amazon the fifth edition, which is what I've had the whole time that I've been doing these beans. I ordered okay. the fifth edition and they sent me a bag of the sixth edition. So some of these okay. beans, I got, so there's some of these on here that I'm not, I, the one I'm probably going to throw up. All right. Just being honest with you, I don't throw up, but this is going to make me throw up. And we'll wait till we get to that one because I see one. Oh, he's looking at flavors he doesn't I, like, bro. I see at least three of them. All right. Okay. But anyways, we'll start off with this one. This one's an easy one. This is either booger or juicy pear. It's bad either way. Here we go. Cheers. You think a pear is bad? Pears are disgusting, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of pears either. There we go. Um, so... You can't tell, can you? <laughs> it's booger, but it's bad. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to do these two together. These two are either, just make sure it's the same, rotten egg or buttered popcorn. Again, these bad either way. Bro, are you going to take them together? Yeah. Oh, somebody <laughs> just gifted another three, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Uh, oh. Got some of fucking beans, boy. Thanks, Molo. I appreciate you, bud. He's washing it down with a fucking keystone. That's Hell the yeah. worst part. That's the best part. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, one. Oh, Lord. Three, four. Here, oh, look at that. Another, another, <clears throat> another popcorn or fucking rotten eggs. So are you doing the similar ones three. at the same time? These, yeah, these three are the exact same flavors or, you know, the exact same styles. So you're about to mix oh. popcorn and rotten eggs? Possibly, potentially. Or it could be all rotten eggs or it could be all popcorn. This man's trying to throw up. All right, go for it. Sure. I won't, this won't <laughs> make me throw up. It's the other ones that will make me throw up. I'll save those if, for last. If if one of them is uh, liver and onions, it tastes nasty. <laughs> If it's in the and onions, what the hell? Yeah, there's a flavor I mean, like that. I'm sure the there's action. one of them was rotten eggs, bro. You just part. increase your chances like crazy. He said left side of my mouth is good, right side sucks. What popcorn. the hell? Rotten egg. That's really what it is. Two po two popcorn, one rotten egg. I want to get to this level of accuracy when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got next? And stunt said it. That's what the sixth edition is. I have three sitting here that are potentially liver and onions or cappuccino. Yikes. 
<laughs> Give me a minute, dude. I'm I'm eating fucking disgusting shit right now. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't go down that quick. I know you're not always in my streams. This isn't as, as something that goes. Hey, all right, next one. We'll edit through. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yo, by the way, while uh while our homie here is taking a breather, so to speak, right? If anybody in the chat has any questions, any anything you want us to talk about or go over, hit us up with it. Yeah. Wait a second. Whoa, he's got the he's got the four panel. The what? Oh, got all four yeah. of us up. I'm gonna do the standard anime pose. <laughs> actually, in sports, we uh, that's actually called the uh, surrender cobra. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll do these three next. So these three, if they're the same. But either stunk, stink, stank, either stank bug, no, either the stink bug or uh, toasted marshmallow. Oh, cheers. Oh, that's oh. Oh. <laughs> you good? I think he got three stink bugs. How do you know yeah. what a oh. uh, yeah. Did you, you mentioned the testing for this shit. How do you know what a stink bug tastes like, bro? I say the same thing when I do this shit on stream, man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, I love how we're all just, like, chilling here. Just like, <laughs> he's suffering. We're all like... Hey, oh. Man. All right. Chat, say anything? No. Oh, what's the worst being, in your opinion? Son, where'd you get my head? Oh. the headset, my guy? It looks fresh. Yeah, I'm looking up the uh, what I bought, the name. To, to the worst from. bean that I've had so far is either dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Strawberry <laughs> banana smoothie is the best bean. Dead fish is the worst by far. Oh, okay. But it's I've like yet to have banana. this liver and onions one, and I, I can't stand onions, and I don't like liver. So I literally think that's the one that might make me throw up. And I... I have a fucking stomach of a Navy sailor, so like it's gonna take a lot to make me throw up. You have a bucket? No, no I think it means he's full of semen. I got a <laughs> cup. <laughs> what? Damn. Oh, the Navy joke. Never mind. All right. All right. Oh! No, get me out. No. Oh, Damn. no. Damn oh right. my god was that marine <laughs> mangoose or army mangoose that threw that one i'm curious that was marine, that was marine corps mangoose right there <sighs> he's a money all right this one's Yo. either this one's either bar for peach cheers that's definitely bar i you think I, I, yeah, dude I'm, I'm, str I'm struggling watching this guy what the hell go ahead you think if 14 doesn't come, they will reuse the Halloween map for this last year. I wouldn't <laughs> be mad. I wouldn't be mad, no. But it was a I, don't think, I don't think they will do it because they would have already implemented it this patch that we just saw. You think so? What if they were technical about it? And they were like, oh, well, you know, it's not Halloween season yet. So let's not put it in there yet because it's the end of September. It's, uh, that's Halloween. Like, what did I tell you? Walmart's already had Halloween candy for the last three months. All right. I mean, I, under, I understand, but that doesn't mean that's how they think. Go go to Speedway and tell me you couldn't buy pumpkin spice fucking cappuccino three months ago. I'm from the South. I don't even know what the hell Speedway is. Go to Wawa. Go to fucking. Ah, okay. He hit Jeeps. me with Wawa. I know right. what that is. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't care. Go to any <laughs> he of them. hit me with Wawa. I know what that is, bro. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, are we getting to it tastes like bubblegum black from sock no cap? There is no such thing as bubblegum. So this one's either canned dog food or chocolate pudding. Both of which taste great. <laughs> Fangus is like, it's all edible. They fucking let. That, was, ate, the that, he, was, he, that was the marine of him speaking. Yeah, he said I've ate worse than an MRE. No worries. Man. 
Not really. That's no, not nice. bad. Nice. I'll be real, bro. I don't know why you do this. Like, shout out to you. Much love. You you brave. I, I wouldn't do that shit. Like, <laughs> y'all want me to eat something? I got my Slim Jims right fucking here, bro. <laughs> Give me the fuck <laughs> out. I'm not. I'm not doing that bean bullshit. No. Fuck that. Man. <laughs> but how would how would you guys feel if Fault did that? Like if they if it's I don't know the beginning of September and they dropped the Halloween the Halloween map for the toggle on and off. The beginning what, of September. Like wouldn't that just feel like it's like, too Yeah, like it's right. Just because but Walmart's been selling that shit since July doesn't mean last patch was what? What was last patch? The 29th? I mean, that's literally yeah, the, end the end of end. September. Like, literally, we're coming into October. Like, that... I mean, I, I haven't had a chance to play this patch yet. So, guess what? When I start playing this patch, it's October. It's already Halloween time now. Like, Damn. it literally is. It's be- like, when you're doing the whole every two weeks, definitely better to do it, the last one on the 29th of September as opposed to the middle of October. But that's under the assumption that it's going to be on an update patch. What if they do right. another random different patch in between the first week of October? You know? I mean, they could, but they didn't say that their patches were going to be done bi-weekly. They said that their updates were going to be done bi-weekly. That they were done doing the up- updates. Up- yeah, so, so under, the assum- under what they said, we're probably still going to get update patches bi-weekly yep yep so what you said earlier about the how the fuck, who, who's who's taste in this like taste testing this stuff this is the one that i always say that on this one is either dirty dishwater or birthday cake who the fuck is tasting dirty dishwater to be able to like yep yep that's that's what that is Cheers. <laughs> Imagine going through the, like the 10,000 beans dish that water. were almost dirty dishwater, but not <laughs> quite there yet. I think we need to put a, put a little bit more Dawn in there. That's what I think. You imagine? The oh, fuck? Fluffy cake. Quality content is quality content. I appreciate it. That's what yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shout out to you, bro. <laughs> Shout out to you. For it sure. So bad. I'm over here like feeling like mango so i'm like yeah i want a beer at this rate <laughs> feel bad just for watching them eat these man oh fuck all right so i'm at the point where i have either the two new ones <clears throat> one is either pomegranate and old bandage or cappuccino and liver onions or i have one of the ones that i know is just fucking disgusting it's the worst one i've ever had the hell is that? Dead fish? Dead fish. Yeah, the dead fish one, yep. Oh. So, I think I'm going to go with the pomegranate and old bandage ones. Because I haven't had these yet. I only I have two of them. I'm going to eat one at a time, and we'll see what it's like. I don't know what old bandage is going to taste like. Let's what just, the fuck? Who, let's just hope whoever you ate an old bandage should know what the flavor of an old bandage is. So let's just hope you don't get it. Flavor. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. Like, that old bandage flavor probably varies a lot. Right? Like, how does how did you make that a flavor? What made you think that's what? Because, I mean, some some flavors smell too, right? Because one of these in the in the edition five, right? I don't think it's in these ones. No, it is. Yeah. Tutti Fruity oh, or Stinky shit. Socks. So Stinky Socks, that's more of the smell, right? What the fuck does an old bandage smell like? What are you putting into this bean for it to be Almonds. an old bandage? Almonds. I don't know, bro. I hear stalling. What the fuck? That's what I that's hear. I hear stalling. That's, that's, shh, that's what it is. Give me a look. All right. Cheers. Let me actually ask the chat real quick. How do you guys feel about Discord being the primary source of information for Strange Matters? At least currently. Who knows if that'll change? I'd love to hear from you guys too. Well, hopefully he doesn't die. You good, bro? I hope that's not what pomegranate tastes like. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so fucking bad. Who? Oh. I think we have a new winner for worst ever. 
He <laughs> said, I hope sleep. that's not what pomegranate <laughs> tastes like. <gasps> no, bro. Oh, my gosh. You're so brave. Oh. You, you're brave, bro. <laughs> I see in the chat. I don't like it. I'm not using Discord. Small reach in Discord should be on major social media platform. That's a good point. Should be on a social media platform that promotes engagement and shares shit based off of engagement. Recommended to you. This post is recommended to you because your friend liked it. Oh. That. Oh my gosh. Why does that. That's, so that's bad, scary bro. how how well it tastes like it not that well like isn't good but like and like how accurate it is like like what was what the flavor you, like it, it was it had to be the old bandage it had to be the old bandage like I literally so I want to bring attention to the fact that you said it tastes so accurate <laughs> right but I mean like how the fuck you no, know what a bandage tastes like I don't I don't know. But like what I'm tasting now is what I would think that you would taste. Like, you know what? Like, oh yeah, that's, I could, yeah, I could imagine that being that taste. You sound like a Corlari main. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm confused. That's what I would imagine her kit should be like, or could have been like, that's what I want. <laughs> like, Jesus, bro. All right, we're going to try this last one. Hopefully it's pomegranate. Cause I, oh gosh. Hey man, everybody. Follow this man, please, after putting him through this, bruh. Mainly by these two assholes right here. <laughs> he got another old bandage. Yes. <laughs> man. Did, did you hit your sub goals yet? What do you mean sub goal? I think I already updated it. Did we hit it anymore? Holy He's, fuck, we did. No, I have uh, well, oh, he's got another one. Wait, he's like, no, I, no, I already added that. The four, yeah, I already added that. I need. He's the, like, what the fuck is a goal. sub? Yeah. Oh man, change my goal, bruh. <clears throat> if I were you, I recommend chewing faster. And fi are you done? It doesn't work that way. I'm just saying, the longer we're alive, the more danger you're in, bruh. That's all I'm saying. You done? That's it? No, I'm not done. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to go. <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry, four of them I'll pop in there all together. We'll be good. Motherfucker has eight <laughs> more to go. Holy There's shit. Six viewers. The next goal is probably five subs away. Let's go, guys. <laughs> That's an extra <laughs> six beans, bro. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at this point, at this point, <laughs> I think I'm officially right. I'm officially banned from ever showing up on this partner. Pack. Yeah, <laughs> sunset, <laughs> twenty five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck oh, it, shit. this is worth. Be Be Bearded is gonna put me on the uh, freaking no go list. The ban list. I'm gonna get a notif <laughs> notification you go, to no, watch bro. It. If we get banned on Twitch from the chat, you can't chat, but you can still watch. <laughs> All right, so I got three of the possible livered onions, and I got one of the dead fish. Possible dead fish. What are you going to do, the one or the three? I'm going to do the one first because I know what this tastes like, and I know it's a very good chance it's going to be dead fish, right? Okay. The liver and onions is And nasty. then we're going to do these other three, and we're going to compare which one I think is worst. Because that bandage was pretty fucking bad. I mean, Street was counting. I think Street says you haven't done, you've hit the bonus, but haven't added the jelly beans. I have added jelly beans. Already. When when Molo added, when Molo did, I had put four. Molo put three. I mean, he gave me yeah, three I subs, heard him I, count I, to I four. four. I can't see below that line of the camera, but I heard right, him count I'm to sorry. four. I, yeah, they're right here. I'm sorry, but I, I literally pulled out four more. I know I got it. If anything, you had to count how many beans I put in my mouth. If you want to. But from the first two, I already added those in too. I like I said, there was it was eleven subs. I already had thirteen. Street is just adding I'm, more. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna be real with you, Street. You're helping him stall. He he has right. no problem stopping to answer your question, bro. <laughs> Keep right. fucking going. <laughs> All right, this is either dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Cheers. Never trust a Wolverine. Yikes. 
Yeah, he's so happy. He's like, yes, no pain. <laughs> Bruh, I can't with you. Got the good one. He got the good one. Hey, I love, I love how you're it. Still, it is the best one they ever made. I love how your own bot just advertised Amazon Prime gift subs. <laughs> <laughs> your robot's working against your since right now. you mentioned it like <laughs> oh man <laughs> all right so what's next you said you got the, the three i got three bad ones coming up yep or possible bad ones this is the worst i need another beer <clears throat> oh homie has a mini fridge right there i'm jealous do we do we get an hell yeah i do do we get an exclusive skin if if we make them puke right now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody get a dev in here. Yeah, you they, it's, it's, somebody, it's, somebody get a dev in here. What? Bearded, I'm not kidding you. The liver and onions is pretty damn bad. Like, the I, other ones are I don't like liver and I don't like onions. I literally eat everything <laughs> without fucking vegetables because I can't stand onions. All right. The exclusive skin would be nude Tara because that would make me puke. <laughs> Street is saying I demand hey, what's that hell? Back off of Tara, dude. She's <laughs> almighty. All right. Because it's a new one, I'm gonna eat these three separate, one at a time, because I don't I don't know what it's gonna be like. I don't know how it's gonna be. And I wanna give you guys the best. How, how noble of buck. you. Thank you. So again, this is either liver and onions or cappuccino fuck i'm curious mangus doesn't like tara no he likes tara everybody likes tara everybody does. probably cheers that's not what his honest review said <laughs> let's not bring those up bro he hates every character according to those <laughs> those are perfect though that's us who the fuck eats this <laughs> what what flavor what was it is- it's liver and onions why do you eat? Why do you cook this and make it a meal? Delicious. What about this makes like, mm, this is so good. <laughs> this is fucking disgusting. We were with you. I don't think anybody is cooking it. I think that's the whole point of it. Oh, gosh. With beer, that's horrible. Oh, man. I can't, bro. No, there's people who make that. Mangoose just said delicious. Mangoose, do you make it? I have made liver and onions before, yeah. You are kidding yeah. me. And you like it, don't you? It's all right. It's not like my favorite or anything, but yeah, it's all right. Oh, gosh. That's fucking... Yeah. I've had better Navy food. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. Oh. We're going to slide by that one. I didn't want to use the same joke twice. Yeah. Uh, hey. Oh, I lost one. <sighs> there it is. Oh, I can't, bro. I'm, I'm proud of your composer, Mangus. Are we real? Uh, that, that took a lot right there, for sure. It did. It did. This, this is this is why the fault devs love you guys, man. <laughs> this this partner panel gets better and better every week. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Nothing confirmed. Wait, wait, dude. The only, the only team from from Fault SMS that doesn't like you is the art team. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever creates those skins. <laughs> hey, man. I'll be real with you. I don't even. I, I highly doubt that the art team even cares about. <laughs> I have to say at the time they're like I'm tired of this asshole <laughs> I'm yeah, just... but, but the mustache curls seem to get added every time and there's more and more of it yeah I do I do feel like they find a way how to hide those mustache curls you know Romber he just got a he just got another bad one wait, what was that uh, one it's liver and onions again wait until you see the back side of the, the, the actual character it's like huge fucking mustache I was wondering where you were going while you're hurting, bro. <laughs> I'm like, the backside of what, bro? What are you talking about? I'm trying to be a part of the conversation, too. Yep. So, I, I was, you know what I, I would love thinking. to see? A 
my bad. I was well, just gonna say I would love to see videos of skins instead of pictures. Mm-hmm. Like they teased the Narbash one, right? Because the Narbash one looked gray, not white. Now I can't tell if that was just they changed it to like that white powder you got a boar skin later, or if that's the way that it looks in the shade. The the white ashy skin just looks gray. I would love to see another video. I, I would too. I would actually like to see the mastery skins used when introducing the, the, the heroes. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it, my bot says, want to see me, see, me, see me make a gross face? Make me play Jelly Bean Roulette with every sub to the channel. <laughs> then Mangus, his bot hates him. All right. This is the last one of the gross ones. And then I got four left, but I'll pop those all together. All right. Liver onions or cappuccino. I've had two liver onions. I'm hoping for a cappuccino just so I can understand what it tastes like. But damn, that's this has been bad. This is this is bullshit. Bro, you think I'm playing, bro? I'm about to just literally grab your worst reaction. That's the only one that's going to be shown at the end of the partner panel video. And then be like, he ate a total of this many. You want to see the rest? Should have been there. <laughs> or just window. Just and it promotes a- viewer engagement and people show up. Marketing. Hello. Anyway, go ahead. Just, just put it as a thumbnail. So you want to see the ending of this video? <laughs> just put it up as a thumbnail right. on your YouTube page. That's what shorts out of this shit. That's I, I was I was about to say, but like I'll be real with you, that shit's <laughs> mad simple. Literally, put those fifteen seconds in the beginning and be like, watch till the end. All right. At the end, you show those fifteen seconds. I said you should have been there live. Yeah, but what I was saying, Windu, is yeah. I would love it when they introduce heroes. You know how they do a short 15, 20 second video on them? If they introduce them with the mastery skins, so you get to see that like the the skin itself you know what i mean that'd be cool like a little tease in there they show the character and everything and then at the end when they're in, they're just zooming in show the mastery skin and be like this is what you could get that'd be cool that'd be a cool addition all right we can continue the conversation one second <clears throat> uh these last four for those of you who have been around my channel a lot and know i saved the best for last uh so this is either uh this is a win-win for me all right it's either berry blue or toothpaste right Toothpaste is supposed to be the bad one, uh, but I'm hoping and they're all toothpaste so I can wash my mouth out because this is <laughs> disgusting. All right, <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, bro. How's the toothpaste well, go with that liver and onions? Probably minty, right? That's what I'm guessing. <clears throat> all of it is toothpaste, and it tastes so good right now. <laughs> He said, Colgate's for me. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. All right, so let's do this. Since it ended on a better note, I'm happy for you. This, this is the crest of the stream. We're going to Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, my God. All right, for those of you that don't know, Stunt just gifted five more subs, which means... He not only reached his new goal, but he has to <laughs> take five beans. So he's a total of what? Six beans? Right? <laughs> Let's see the liver and onions, but <laughs> <laughs> The fact that he waited to the end. Get me the fuck out. He actually waited to the end, bro. <laughs> My stomach hurts. Yo, your, your dick. stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts. All right. Yeah, I'm glad your stomach hurts. Oh, guys, I saved the best for last. It's a win-win either way. Yo, take one at a time as is. Don't get. To, don't pick through them. Pull one, take it. Don't even look at what it is. Miss, this is mystery box. Take one. Oh my god. There's three there. All right, well, just pull one. Oh. Chug it. One, go. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's green. Booger. 
Oh, he's memorizing these bitches, bro. <laughs> or pair. It could be pair. It's, it's pair. You're right. Dude, how do you, how do you feel about pair I now? Do. Well, compared to liver onions, it's good, but it's so bad. Eh. Okay. Next. It was six, right? All right bye, bye, bye. Yeah. Well, see, what I've been doing is I've been just taking whatever came out. So these two would be here. So that's three, right? Hey, you see him? He's he's trying to... He's like, I'm saving these ones for later. So that's four. <laughs> he's like, I got a system. You just pulled like 37 out. What the hell? We'll go with those two, right? All right, that's six. That's six. And I'll even put right, bro. one blue one. I'll put one blue one back in for the one that fell on the floor, and I'll eat the bad one that it came with. That was such perfect timing. For he said, off of the floor, extra flavor, bro. Oh, oh right. my God. So. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Because I see what I have here. Livered onions. Caught it. Caught it. Livered onions is the next one for sure. Maybe we'll taste what cabbage you tastes like. I doubt it. It's probably livered onions. Cheers. I'm just glad it doesn't make me throw up. <laughs> this would be disgusting. Oh, shit. I mean, it's horrible. It literally is bad. I don't know why anybody would eat this. For all the viewers out there, if you don't see me on this panel anymore, <laughs> just put two and two together. <laughs> just put two and two together. You already heard the sirens, brother. You are hey man, sirens. yo, that's a different conversation we gotta have. Homie heard sirens. He was yo, he was about to duck. Like yo, homie, homie was straight funny. <laughs> oh poor guy. Yikes! All right, what's next? Sixty. Sixty's next. No, bro, the next bean. <laughs> Where's this bot? Does this bot want to say anything? No. The bot's all random, dude. It's it's, like, it's really said, make sure to check out TikTok. <clears throat> so this one is either Stinky Socks or Tutti Fruity. Cheers. Stinky Socks? Tutti Fruity. Nice. Stinky Socks? Yeah. Yep. You know that smell you got from your gym bag? That's what it fucking tastes like. No, bro. I wash my shit. Bullshit. I'm not saying you don't wash your shit, but you still put that smell in there, man. I, did you play sports when you were a kid? Like, I'm yes. telling you, man. You, all right, then. You put that stuff back in your gym bag, took it home. You open up your gym bag, that smell, that's that's what it was. Are you assuming we smell the same, bro? I'm, I'm assuming that all gym bags smell very similar. Nah, bro, there'll be some lockers up in that locker room that straight be stinking up. Like, y'all need to take some shit home, bro. All right. So we got two here that are the same. I'll eat them separate, though. Dirty dish water or birthday cake? I love how we're just watching him. Birthday cake. <laughs> That's not bad. Been lucking out. He's been lucking out. It's not a fluffy cake, but it's a birthday cake. What's a fluffy cake? Oh, the I get uh, it in chat. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, like, the <laughs> fuck is a fluffy cake, bro? <laughs> Never mind. I get it. <laughs> I see the name in chat. Shout out. Yes. Yes. Fluffy. That is four out of four. I have not had a cappuccino yet. That one probably tastes worse. You imagine? Not, not that I need to stay awake at fucking almost one o'clock in the morning. I'm good to go. I was about to say it's not four o'clock in the morning, bro. I said almost one o'clock is what I said. Oh, never mind. All right, I'm All right. clearly tired of shit. Finish these beans. <laughs> Blame stunt. What did I do? Gifted five what more. What did I do? Isn't stunt responsible for a minimum of twelve two, of them? Two birthday cakes. Bruh. Eleven. A minimum of eleven. He gifted Yo, 11 subs, so technically I'm in 12, yeah. 
Chat has a good point. If a tear tastes bad, if a pear tastes bad to you, who knows if cake is gonna make you throw up, bro? Right? Hey. Yo, I'm with them. Pears aren't great. They're Thank green. you. That gritty, yeah, that gritty grain is disgusting. I don't like it. I mean, I don't need them. I'm just saying, anything goes, bro. Like, so you know, the taste of coffee is gonna send them over Last the edge. Last one is blue. Okay. Which is berry blue or toothpaste. So, the, so he did save the best one for last. You see what Again. I mean? That's why I was trying to get him one at a time. He's like, oh, toothpaste just happens to be last, guys. <laughs> Wash my mouth out of the cake. All right. So. All right. Like I said earlier, so, this is yeah. the rest of our stream. We're going to end it here. Yes. Before any, any other shit goes crazy. Anything else that happens now? Invalidated, bruh. <laughs> So let's do this. Uh, before we end, let's start off with Stun. Anything you want to say to the community, bro? Yeah, I want to say shout out to all the new faces I've been I've been seeing in Fault. We've been getting a lot of new players that I, I've been I've had the privilege of playing with. Uh, I hope you guys stick around because I'm I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy this game for a really long time. So, and to you guys, it's always a pleasure. Always, bro. That's, that's a good one. He says, "Sorry, bearded." <laughs> all good brother man hey i do it for the, the community i appreciate you all all right mangoes any words bro no nah, just like i always say it, i mean we we can contrast and compare all these games but false only one that's had a, a playable game that you can queue up and get a game at any time of day it may it may take you a while in the morning for na east but uh you know in the afternoon you can always queue up for a game so stick with fault um I think they're going to go places. Old words. Old words. Bearded. Fluffy cake. I also was expecting to start to drop a little more, more there, too. I was I was definitely thinking it was going to happen. Not uh, right. not at, at, at this it's point, not if he mean. does, we're just not going to count him. I'm not going to be here all night. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's I'm not going to be here all night. If he yeah. does that shit, I'm ignoring it. Uh, I'm going to have to postpone the, hey, guys, carry over next stream. As soon as I go live again, I will definitely knock those next one's out if it happens um but uh well one molo stunt mangoose i appreciate you guys i really i really do it means a lot so um glad you guys are able to get a little bit of enjoyment out of my nasty face because that shit was disgusting uh mangoose you even you even made that stuff like you've purposely made it and ate it i don't know it makes no sense to me i'm confused i'm lost and i want nothing to do with it um but no, uh, as it comes to fault, though, uh, we said it last episode, me and Mangus, we both brought it up that that fault, they kind of go silent. And when they go silent, something big happens, right? And, and this patch and that like that patch with Kalari, you know, like that, that kind of shows you this is kind of more of a silent thing. They promised you a, hey, we're going to give you a patch every two weeks but they really haven't been saying much. So they've been pretty much balls to the wall doing what they're doing. I'm interested in what 14 brings. 14 is going to be huge in my opinion. 14 is going to be like, we're going to, we're not, we're going to see a fault we've never seen before from what I think. That's, that's some, honestly my opinion. I could be wrong. I'll tell you, I'll tell you after 14 comes, if I was wrong or not, but that's what I'm thinking what's happening. So yeah, stick those with are the expectations. Us. Stick with us. Something huge is coming, in my opinion. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next panel. Word. Now, I'll be real. I'll be more of a... I guess you could say realist on my side. Like, yes, stick around. Thank you to ever Like, Stun said, that, that was a great fucking shout-out, bro. I have seen new faces in there. I like the fact that there's new faces in there. Shout-out to them. But I just, you know... Also, also keep realistic keep a realistic mindset it, it, good things are coming it might not necessarily meet everybody's expectations so I definitely wouldn't recommend getting your hopes up too high but better and better is down the road I, I, I personally just want this update out so we can move on to better yep. but thank you everybody for watching 
Thank you, Stunt Mangoose Bearded, as, as always, for showing up, having this chat, yes, for, for sacrificing yourself, bro. Thank you. And honestly, guys, till the next one. Y'all have a good night. Good night. Peace.